car- carry around a giant tank. Ugh. No, it's just going to be in a fishing net. Nice. Yeah. Or how about a little aluminum can with a little pull ring on it? <laughs> I'm going to say I'm thinking tuna salad here. Man, folks, Sunday afternoon, you know what that means, Margu Group. Uh, boy, they are cooking today. Uh, thanks for joining us. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit uh, about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy our cool crap like sweatshirt, phone case, all that, link is down there. If you're in the mood for new math rocks uh, like Man Fang really needs, uh, run on over to Twitter. Hit up at Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter. See if they got time, energy, and inclination to make some for you. Uh, and if your game stinks, unlike this game, which is always fragrant like roses, uh, go over to oddfishgames.com. Check out their adventure scents. They have over 60 different scents. They come in these little pellets, uh, and they, they smell. They smell very nice for the most part. Uh, some of them you buy to put in your family member's vehicle vents just to get even with them. Uh, they also make something called the Shine System, so if you want to be a writer like Edgar Allan Poe, only gooder, check out their Shine System. Folks, this is Sunday. It is the Margu campaign. Uh, these guys are still in Chasm Peak searching for the alleged elusive dragon horde. Uh, they covered a lot of ground. Uh, let's see if they find it today, but first, let's introduce the crowd that's going to make you say Never watching these guys again. Uh, we'll start with Middle Frank. Uh, you're up first on my left screen. So who are you? Who do you play? I am Middle Frank. I am Robert of Zeppelin. I am a bard slash sorcerer. I am a thug of the underworld and a uh, business entrepreneur going into business of a bar status. But still, always remember, leave no witnesses. Uh huh. We'll see how that works out for you once you guys get topside. Uh, the youngest murder hobo uh, oh. pushing her brother aside in age. Uh, Sophia, who are you and who are you playing? My name is Levi. I am a ranger, a dark elf. Yes. That's it. You're a ranger, dark elf. Dark yeah. elf ranger. And I have a wolf now. You have a what now? A wolf. She didn't want mine. She rejected me. I reject it. Thanks. You've, you've created an anarchist in my family now. <laughs> so, so she rejected the drow elf in the chasm having a polar bear as a pet and went with a wolf. Come on. Uh, the senior member of this family, Frank Sr., uh, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your character. Cool. I am top Frank. I am Leaf the Druid. Uh, quite the loving, kind soul. Thank you. <clears throat> I, something's wrong with my earphones. I heard loving and kind. Uh, formerly the youngest member, uh, now just a nobody, uh, toilet paper man, uh, Frankie. Who are you? Who are you playing? Hello, I'm Frank. Man thing. All around, we can say the greatest character of us all. I contribute the most, take the most hits of the team. I mean, just all around. Best player, MVP, you could say. Diplomat, barbarian. Political Morgan advisor. Man. Political advisor. Concierge. Some, some could say, um, uh, I don't know, because they don't know. Oh, we can always take a poll. Yeah, let's do that. The smartest character, and it's only uh, my name. J- Jason, you're up next. Still trying to figure it out. Hi, I'm not a Frank. <clears throat> Um, play a gnome named Copious Full Bitters the Third, who is an innocent bystander and just met most of these guys on the way to the cavern. Never met them before then, and that's what I'll tell the judge or magistrate that, or that, lynch mom. That 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 is on advice of counsel, if I am not correct. Okay, yes. that's what I thought. Uh, last but certainly not least, the most verbose member of this crew, Nicholas. Hi, I'm not Frank Mark II, and I'm playing Haggis Crapstein. <laughs> wow, you put four Franks on the screen, and everybody else is anti Frank. It's just so weird. Folks, this is, Mark- <laughs> this is the Mark U campaign. These guys have been down in Chasm Peaks for this will be the sixth episode. So, damn near yeah. 12 gaming hours, uh, a total of nine and a half days. 
Uh, they are searching for the elusive dragon horde because they actually did successfully kill a dragon and live to tell about it. Now, AJ, a.k.a. Felix, is not with us, so they will be hamstrung by uh, the suave and debonair. No, he'll be hamstrung while he's absent and walk with a permanent limp from now on. (laughs) What did he ever do to you guys? Oh, that's right. Everything. And we're all going to walk around with lucky albino zonky feet. I'm going to say he shot me twice. How about the rest of you? I lost count. Well, if you're a pretty cool guy, guy. if you find the dragon horde, I'm thinking about giving everybody who showed today a mermaid dagger. I'm not sure. (laughs) (laughs) Now, these guys have also, uh, shall we say, uh, come into a business, aka the roadhouse uh, that was burned down by the dragon that they then killed. Uh, they have declared ownership, but the uh. The government, damn government people, uh, have declared that they have a tax uh, payment that they must make by day 27. Now, this is only day nine and a half. They're a couple days downstairs in the Chasm Peaks, and they're quite a few days away from Thornfield where they have to pay this tax bill. So you can see the Blues Brothers ramping up here in just a minute. But last time, these guys managed to kill a rather heinous air elemental and not for lack of trying by man fang uh they actually came away with some pretty good objects that were not splashed with acid so we will begin uh in the middle of day nine in the chasm peaks uh you guys are just outside the old volcano where this elemental lived uh you had a choice to go left or right and you chose left, which is perfectly acceptable. Um, you've had some other options along the way, but right now you sit here in this cave, uh, and it appears to be dead end city. No way out. Looks like you got to turn around and go back. What do you okay. want to do? Nice. I'm fine with going back and taking the other route. Sure. Give me a D4. Leaf. Shoot. <clears throat> Four. Four hours later, uh, everybody give me a perception check. Okay. Go ahead. Um, 22. 14. Watch me roll. I got a big old six. I rolled the same thing. She rolled an 11. And the same thing as he did for me. So two 11s? 11 and a 14. She's, I, I said, here, you want me to roll for you? I rolled. She said, no, you suck. Let me roll. She rolled the same thing. So you both suck on rolling. Yeah. Uh, but actually, <laughs> Robert, Leaf, Copious, and Haggis. <sighs> That's like, like Man Fang, did you do that? No, it smells like salt air. Oh, uh, man! Fang I think that's the ocean. Do not smell that at all. Uh, as you venture forth, uh, you, you notice there's a cave. It's it's a dark cave too. Uh, hmm. But as you venture forth, uh, a massive amount of salt air hits you guys. I smell salt air. Must be nice. I love the smell in the morning. It smells like an entire village wiped out. Oh, you've been here before. <laughs> um, so, anything uh, visible in this cave? This cave is dark, even with dark vision. Okay, okay. Oh, it's super dark. Got it. Who's so going in? We need to light things up. A I was about bit. to say, I'm going to cast light spell then. Okay. Uh, as you do, uh, the magical illumination bursts forth, and you notice that this is kind of a rampy kind of stone decline and it kind of curves around to the left uh stalactites stalagmites uh no spider webs uh no debris no nothing in this cave uh but that wind is really getting staunch is the is there sand underneath our feet or is it damp in the cave at all not in this spot it's just a rocky surface does the 
does it look like there's been water? I mean, you know, over time, water, water marks coming up and down. You know uh, what every, I mean? Yeah, every once in a while, you'll see uh, a line of sediment. But this area, high ground, not so much. Now, if you continue forward, you'll notice that the striations in the side of the cave uh, are filled with iron levels, uh, indicating that uh, may maybe high tide, if you guys are by the ocean, uh, comes in and settles. Uh, and as you continue to walk down, no water yet. Okay, but we can't see another uh, entrance or exit <laughs> out of this cave? No, because it takes that Louis. Okay. Do I need to roll wild magic for cantrips? No, we established okay. that that was an okay um, one. Okay. If you want and I'm going to light another rock up mm -hmm. and just toss it down the uh, ramp. Sure. To see, uh, get a view of what's ahead. Sure. Leave. Um, I, I also can uh, go ahead and, and turn and move on ahead if you want me to scout out ahead of us. Yep. I'm just putting markers out. Do you want to throw the rock at the Leonid? At the what? At, at your Leonid companion. There's oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, that's, yeah, why. Not, that's That's B. Never mind. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that, that would be, <laughs> I'm like, there's, there's a line Wrong game. <laughs> yeah. I want to fight that. Wrong damn campaign. <laughs> you, you, it's not smart to throw rocks at Leonid's. Uh, Leaf, were you heading down? <laughs> yeah, I'll head on. A, I'm going to move on ahead. No, I'm going to toss the rock to him. All right. Uh, I'll take uh, the rock and move on ahead. Uh, Leaf, it, it kind of goes around the corner and it's a good 25 30 yards this is a wide area uh the striations on the wall get thicker so this area has been underwater uh, and some of it is partially damp uh the incline is still pretty steep so any water that came in can easily rush down but the okay. deeper you go uh how how far do you want to go in i'm going to keep moving for a few minutes okay uh, uh, you're pretty wet now yeah, you get to about 60 yards around the left. You're totally alone, uh, and you now hear a lapping of water. Uh, you also notice that your feet are starting to get a little bit damp. Uh, right. The flooring here is wet, not so much that it's slick. Uh, I'm going to head no back at okay. this point and tell them, uh, look, <laughs> this just leads down There's to the ocean or the sea, whatever, down there. And it just winds down to the sea. It gets really wet. I'm going to guess that the tide comes up this thing when it comes in, uh, but nothing else down there that I could see. You didn't see daylight. You didn't see where the cave opened out into the. No, ocean. no, never made it down to where it opened up at. But I could hear the water lapping. Well, so you found water, but we don't know if we can get out without swimming, right? No, don't know. If you want to move on ahead, we can go on down, but be ready to turn around and move back if the tide comes in. I think we need to go down and find out if this is an exit, because if it's not an exit, we have to go back the way we came Yeah. to get out where the uh, okay. venturing party told us the way out where we could exit. We can, we can do that. I can always transform, and if, if we don't find an opening, I can always see how far you got to swim underwater to get out. Transform okay. into a blue whale will play Jonah. That's I'm thinking. Right. That's what I'm thinking. Now, keep in mind, it took you guys four hours to get here, and it was already half day. So you're looking at the end of day nine. So are you going back down to find the exit? You know, if, if it's the end of day nine, <laughs> the water's going to, the tide's going to be coming in. Yeah, it'll be fine. We'll, we'll move on down. To, we either have to, how long is it going to take him to go down and and look, check out this. What's our estimate? If he was only a couple minutes till he hit water, I was only a couple minutes down to water. So well, you yeah. can go down, transform into a. All um, right, I'll go check. Here. Okay, I'm going. Uh, you return about eighty yards, so you missed that last forty feet. Uh, you reach the opening of the cave. Uh, the water is about ankle deep. It's it's lapping. You can see some kind of crustaceans around this opening. Uh, the reason it's dark is because it's dark. <laughs> it's nighttime. But I can see out of the cave at this point. You can see out of the cave. You can see the rock face. Okay. Uh, it opens up. 
you can also see a faint light uh, 170 feet out. Uh, is there moonlight? Well, no, there wouldn't be moonlight because of uh, the lycanthropy issue. Uh, so no, uh, there's no moonlight, uh, but you can see a little light, little tiny light, depending on how big that light is, maybe 170 feet out. All right. I'm going to hightail it back up to them and tell them that I, I found the opening of the cave. We can go out without going underwater. If you can swim. Oh, is it that deep? It was ankle deep where I was at, but I didn't go any farther out. But the opening's right there. It's dark outside. That's why I couldn't see the opening. You didn't go out of the cave? So we don't Not know yet. Where... Nope. Right to the edge. So we don't know if when you go out of the cave, there's anywhere to stand that's not going to be underwater? Correct. You do not know. I'm going to sink like a lead weight. I'm going to transform when I go out of this cave, and I get to do that twice. Okay. I'm not wasting it. So but, I let you know, I'm going to head out, but I'm not coming back. Split party. I can swim. I got a turtle shell. I'll be fine. Even though but I what, weigh what, 200 What are pounds. our options? Uh, I'm asking the party here. What are our options if we get out of this cave and the tide's coming in and there's nowhere to be that it's not going to be underwater when we get we, out of the cave? We can get you, I can get you up out of it. Yeah, you just got to turn into a whale and we'll be there. So I, I, my vote is we head out, um, but we just have to be prepared. We're at our, our time. Our turnaround time is hitting quickly here. If, if we have to, I can climb the rocks and drop a rope down to get everybody out of the water. If that's what we have to do. So, all right. My vote, I, I'll go with leaf down, down the water and hope, hope I can swim. Okay. Uh, are we all going down the water then? I guess we are. That's up to Let, you unless you want to split the party. No, let's all stay together. I just, I just say that to make Frank happy. Uh, I, what I You'll see, kill us either you way. Do not. <laughs> so everybody right, goes go. down. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is the you guys reach the edge of the water. Everybody is ankle deep to leaf. Uh, so the shorter party members are up to their knees. Uh, and all of you see little tiny light out there. Uh, perception. By everybody. 20, 21. 14. I fumbled. This was perception, correct? Correct. Yep. And I got a 16. Levi? 10. Levi and Robert are arguing back and forth uh, like an old married couple. You other four, however, hear human voices coming from the area of the light. There's human, there's human voices coming from the light. I wanted to, it must be a boat. Why don't I swim Come out and see? How, how far can we estimate now that we're outside and we see the light? Can we estimate how far out it is? 170. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you some faint light. It's probably last quarter moonlight. Uh, let's see if the weather's good for you. Uh, the weather's actually clear. Uh, so I'll give you uh, filtered rays of moonlight as clouds pass around. It is, in fact, a caravel, a medieval trading ship. Uh, it's about, I think, 35 feet long. Uh, similar to your warship, only this one looks like a regular ship. Uh, not a total warship. Uh, so it's uh, essentially a merchant vehicle, uh, and it's about 170 feet out. If it gets any closer, it's going to look at rocks. Man thing. I was just wondering, <laughs> since this is so close to our ship, how many, what could I like, we're all outside, correct now, at this point? You, you are all at the lip of the cave. So this right. cave sits on the edge of the cliffs, uh, and there's a little bit of a drop, maybe two, three feet, which will change as the tide rolls in. Uh, but right now, you guys are all just kind of looking out wide, about 25 feet uh, or so across. Uh, Can't so see any shore on any, either side unless you look back out and yeah. back. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're kind of jettying out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So, 
I, I'm going to look at, at Manfang and go, Arr. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I was just too afraid to say it. What if uh, we steal uh, the ship? I, what if we I steal see, it? I see our ship. Look, there's I our do. ship. It's right there. Are and it's for merchants, which is what we are. <laughs> nah, we found this. We saw this one first, yeah. That is, that's Sorry. the Uber well, thing. Just well, well, why don't I turn into an orca and you guys can ride me out to the ship? Turn into a killer whale and like Somebody belly flop on the ship. Free Willy. Wow. Turn into Wait, a but, killer whale, eat a penguin, and then And hopefully the ship. I won't be a hungry orca. Turn into a beluga whale and ride with your big skull. Turn into one of those fish that have like uh, lights, and then you can like you know an angler fish. Yeah. Yeah. Attract, the, the you want to angler fish? Sure. You want to attract them? It'd be your luck, Haggis. You'd you'd get attracted to my light. <laughs> and uh, consumed. All right. right well, I'm listen. Sharing soapy. Stop. Like why don't we? Story. Why don't we? Yeah, I can. I can change long enough to get somebody out to the ship. I'll go. We take control of it. What if we I say, can, what if you turn into like a very this. hostile wait, fish, wait, wait, wait. and then we could say there's a hostile fish in the water yeah. and like get us on? So, yeah. So it's yeah. like. And then you start yelling at them and shark. Why fight your way on if we can trick our way on? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine yeah. with that. Yeah, let's what, do that. I can I'll, turn I'll, into, I'll, how about if I just turn into a shark? And you guys could cry for refuge because the shark's after you. Mm hmm. And then no, slowly, no, no. after years of twisting and turning, we take over the ship. Probably some really nice old man and his grandson are running this ship. And well, that's even better. There won't be much of a fight. We're less yeah. witnesses. I like what one do? Turns into, hey, let's steal the ship. Well, you said it looked exactly like ours. So I, all in my mind was just that uh, they, they found our ship. This is Call salvage. Up. We th we don't know that this ship has anybody on it. We're just this is just pure salvage. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, light, the, the eternal light. light. <laughs> oh yeah, we all believe that shit, don't we? Listen, I read there the story of the Mary Celeste. There was before. nobody on that ship. Yeah, it came back. It was unharmed. No one was there. All right, how are we getting out to the ship? I'll Who's go and I'll ride on the back of the shark and say, "I have been sent. I'm on mission from God." <laughs> no, 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 Aquaman. I want him to ride that shark just like Aquaman. Like this. <laughs> My legs right. holding together. Who can swim well and get out to the, the ship? I can Without swim. heavy armor. I, I can take it off. I have the turtle shell. Athletics is not my strong suit. And if I have to try to swim, Copious does not swim real well. It is, wearing, uh, I'm wearing like leather. And I'm athlete, I have plus five athletics, if that counts for swimming. Yes, that, well, that counts. Plus five me. athletics doesn't help when you have a negative six roll. Or a negative three in, the, in intelligence. And, uh, uh, you're going to be thinking you're swimming in like food or something. Do you're drain the know? ocean. Now, I will say uh, whoever goes with this cockamamie scheme will be rolling dice to see how they do. Ooh, I'll I bet. got this. I'll bet. My hands are hot. I rolled a 16. We're doing good today. So, like, deception? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, deception to ride the. Uh, Orca slash uh, Jaws out to the ship. Well, it's got to be you just, 70 yards or 170 it, it's yards. Gotta, you just, 170 it has to be a, feet. 170 it to, feet. It has to be a reef shark because I only go up to challenge range of half, I think now. Or is it one? Uh, what if you just I gently put me one. in your mouth? Is it one? Me? Wait, are we acting like, is he carrying us or are we acting like it's a... Uh, I was going to imagine I'm being gently carried in his mouth gently carried okay and then i'm going to break no. free and then ask no, you I'm, for help. Frankie, I'm, because you're my grandson just i'll just tell you that that's the dumbest damn thing i ever heard gently gently ain't no gently to it i'll bite you <laughs> and this, is, this is like episode 57 and you haven't figured that one out yet so, let let me ask this question is leaf leaf or robert yeah do either of you have any spells that will create anything that floats or walks on water? Which I, Dad, don't you have good survival? I have. I, mean, you um, can, I, can I also have some rocks and twine. Actually, come on, Dad. Come on, Robert. It, it, if, if, if there's a twine. destroyed boat laying around, I can mend it back together. There is That's not, not better, nor, yeah. nor, as I pointed out earlier, no debris. 
And if you remember, well, I didn't no, know, because I how I pointed that out. Stuff. There are spells, but I don't have them memorized, weren't, so it's not going to do. I don't have them there, Weren't there stalactite just in the cave still? What yeah, that'll rock, 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 rock floats. <laughs> rock boats. So yeah, we'll make a rock make boat. A rock boat. Yeah, you know what? No, no, no. What you do is you take leather straps, you tear them off, and you put them to your feet. So you can walk like across the bottom. Yeah. Not really into it. So basically what you guys are saying, none of you can swim. I can swim. I have the turtle shell as well, so I'm just, I'm I'm water ready. No so shit. Tail. I do not swim. That, in desperation, I can try to swim, but well, now you're the smallest one. You can get inside Man Fang's shell, and then he can turn into an otter. Well, I'll take. Oh, there. You. Yeah. <laughs> Won't you just climb on my back then, and I'll I'll swim you over. How about we all get inside of my shell and then pop out like it's a clown car. How big do you think you are? <laughs> I think I'm pretty. I'm pretty big. I'm pretty. I, big reef man. reef pretty shark's big pretty guy. big. I could probably take Haggis and boat gonna hit us over at the same soon. time. Yeah. Won't you guys? You guys. Don't you, won't you let me let me turn into a reef shark? Haggis and Copious. You can ride over on my back. Don't you have that Why? infinito pouch Jeez. now? What is this pouch of infinity? Yeah. Can right. we just? He's a kangaroo shark. Can, yeah, can't we just? He's got that pouch of infinity or whatever. Can't we get into his pouch and then ride all the way there in his shark pouch? I, I am inclined to believe that if Leaf swims and Haggis and Copious hang on to his fin, that might work. The dorsal fin? Yeah. All right, fine. See, we're They'll learning stuff. On. We're learning stuff. It's the dorsal fin. The more you know. You, a reef shark is four feet long. And weighs 40 pounds. It's like a small dog. And yeah. it's not very big. They're but tiny. you're buoyant. All you got to do is hang on. <laughs> they got this thing right, called you know an what? air blast. You know, it's not a problem. I'm going to swim out to the damn boat and take it over. Fine, I'll swim with you. I'll take off my heavy arm. All right, first. man, thing. let's go. Uh, Haggis, do you want to hold on to a reef shark? No, I can swim just fine. I'm not like useless. Like well, you I guys. asked if anybody could freaking swim. <laughs> Nobody said anything. I can swim great. Weren't you listening? I said I could swim. I have leather armor and I'm great at acrobatics. Let's do it. I, All right, fine. I'm taking off some of my heavy Copious armor. is the luggage. Worry about him, not me. Copious I'm can stay here. Somewhere. I'm taking off some of my heavy armor and putting my helmet into the shell. Reef turn, the reef shark appear in the water. I'm jumping on and surfing it. Okay, so I've got All right. I've got the reef shark. I, I've got man uh, fang, copious bull Aquaman. I've got Haggis swimming. I have man fang shedding off all of his armor and helmet. And wait, he's gonna wait, swim. that's not, not the gonna helmet. Bite him in I'm the keeping ass. I'm <laughs> keeping the helmet on because the helmet gives me all around bug vision. Okay, uh, and <laughs> really so Robert and Levi, what what are you guys gonna do? I'm gonna watch from here. Okay. <laughs> Levi? I don't volunteer for any of this. We'll, That's fair we'll enough. see how that goes when they uh, attempt this. I, I have so, a disadvantage of swimming. So, na 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 form of a reef shark. A uh, reef jumps into the water, turns into a shark, yep. swimming around. Uh, Copious, you're going to have to jump in uh, and hit him, AC 12, because he's a reef shark, <clears throat> and grab on. If he rolls a 12 and lands exactly. you think you can walk in, you can walk in. You'll want to use uh, dexterity. Right. Dexterity for the modifier. Yeah, 14. Here, okay. I'll cast Thunder so, Wave and wave you guys into the boat. You leap on and hang on. Uh, Haggis and Manfang, you guys are stripped down, or Haggis, are you leaving your leather on? I can leave my leather. I'm going to put a little bit of padding I want, between I want the helmet and the head. chafing when he gets out of the water. Rolls for what? Chafing. Oh, yeah. You know they're going to be chafing. I want to put a little bit of padding between <laughs> my head Jesus and the Christ. helmet, so when I dive in, the helmet doesn't go ka -chunk and knock me out as I sit, fall into the water. Why right do there. you give him ideas? It, it, you yeah, know what? It's, it's all going to depend on the role. So I got Steel Team 4 in the water. <laughs> I got Leaf the Druid swimming, swooshing his tail, uh, taking copious bull bitters for the time being attached to him like a remora more learning uh out towards the ship i have man fang and haggis uh doing the uh doubles swimming gymnastic thing 
into the water. So I'm going to, I'll take survival or athletics. For I'll do training. athletics, which is a plus five. You want it for everybody or what? Just those two. That is a 16. All right. August? 17. <clears throat> you got two frog men. They are not going to be as fast as a reef shark, but they don't have copious hanging on to them either. So I'll go ahead and rule that all three of you are arrowheading it out. Uh, copious, I need one survival or athletics roll from you. Your choice, just to hang on to leaf. Uh, well, the bonus is the same for both of them. And the roll? Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, close. <laughs> what, what kind of armor are you wearing? I don't wear armor. Oh, okay. Uh, you are now flailing, making a significant amount of noise. Help, help me, help me, okay. help me. I'm grounded. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I will know if he lets go. Yeah, you I'm just, zip ahead. I'll, I'll yeah. circle back. Okay. Sharks don't have necks. So you know. <laughs> uh, Man Fang and Hoggis, you guys are freestyling it so you don't hear shit. Uh, as you get closer, uh, D12 against me to see if you bonk into the side of the ship. D6? D12. 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 Five. Let's roll this green one. Four. Oh, well, good. You both bonk into the ship as you race each other. Mm. Take three points of damage. Uh, Leaf, copious, straight up D20 rolls. 13. <laughs> it was a one, two, or three roll. So copious, as he's going down, waves that hand one more time uh, and feels the loving, silky, smooth flesh of the reef shark uh is it the real reef shark or is yes, it it's the right one <laughs> uh, you, you are spared uh, a moment to catch your breath give me another survival roll copious <laughs> he, he is clinging on for dear life uh and he's bending that dorsal fin of yours and it's causing a little bit now a lot of discomfort, Leaf. Robert and Levi on the shore. God, these guys are morons. You should yell at them in shark. Uh, I figured we'll look for dry land. You guys can look around, but you're sticking out there. No, you're going to have to wait. Hopefully they can find a rowboat or a raft or something. Uh, after bonking your head into the side of the ship, gentlemen, Man, Fang, and Haggis, I need perception rolls. Okay. Four. What is that? 21. We're doing good today. Man, Fang. Right over there, there's a chain in the water. Ah, anchor. Well, okay. Be their luck, there'll be a Watapi captaining <laughs> this thing. It's covered in oil. Yeah, um, uh, I'm gonna hope that they're good people, and I'm gonna tell Haggis if I'm close to him, or to be like hit both sides trying to race each no, other. No, you guys were you guys were Olympic racing. Okay, so I'm gonna tell them that we're going to act like we are in severe pain, and if they do not respond, then we'll climb up something. Or they could kill us, but let's go with your idea. If they start shooting, we'll go under the boat and onto the other side. Oh, yeah. and they won't know what happened. <laughs> Genius work, yeah. This plan reminds me of the ghouls you guys faced off with at the Abbey. Okay, uh, Leaf, uh, your your brave associate is trying to rip your dorsal fin off. Give me a perception check, please. When he turns back into a human, will he like miss a leg? Or Twenty-seven. Uh, you also see the chain, and you see the Bobsy twins headed that way. I'm heading right for it. I'm gonna mm -hmm. pull right up under it so he can grab it. Man, Fang, Leaf, Haggis, everybody D20. Let's see who gets their first, second, and third. Just yeah, I get their straight. last. I haven't seen. Well, what'd you roll, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I got a five. I beat you. <laughs> uh, Haggis. Hey, you know what? If I'm going to roll a one, I want to roll it now. That's true. All four of you, one of you is a reef shark, uh, have arrived at this chain. 
it's a it, it's about yay big. So it's not a huge chain. It's not an aircraft carrier, but it's a good sized chain. Uh, you aren't going to be able to use the chain as footholds, but you can hopefully do the climb without pinching your fingers. Uh, copious. I'm assuming you're going to grab a hold of this chain like it means your life because it does. I mean, uh, if he makes the roll. Yeah. If now, uh, Leaf, are you still the reef shark? Uh, just for the moment, I am until they get up the chain. Then I'll turn. I ain't going to. Okay. Who's climbing the chain first? Well, I was going to let Copious do it. First. And then he'll tell us what's up there. And if it's bad, then we will. Go on. Leave him. <laughs> yes, okay. leave him so, for dead. <laughs> so here's how, here's how we're going to do this. The water line is only about 20 feet. So I'm only going to make you roll one time. I'm going to make you roll in athletics. Do you want to climb up one at a time? Or do you want to kind of stagger it? Or do you want to go up butt to nose? I think we should go up one at a time. That'd be a good idea. One of my only good ideas that I ever had. So an athletics roll to climb the chain. And once you get to the top of the chain, you're going to have to dismount uh, by grabbing a hold. Uh, so I'm going to do another roll after that. But let's start with Haggis on the athletics roll. Yes. Question. So sure. this is athletics. So no acrobatics, right? Has to be athletics. 14. No, nope, because you're climbing up. All right. So... Can I communicate with Leaf? Can he understand me? Uh, I think I can. I can't communicate. I can't talk when I'm turned. Let me look. What do you I mean you don't talk. speak I sharp? Don't chain I yet. Think I can. As soon as Copia sees that Did chain, you know, you realizes know? he's going to have to climb that chain, he's going to try to get Leaf to go back down to the lowest point of the boat that sits in the water along the gunwale. And he's going to call up to the boat. That's it. Hmm. Okay. Um, I'm going to see if there's anybody up there that can throw down. <laughs> okay. I'm going to call help. Yeah, help. I can understand him. I can't talk, but I can understand him. Okay. He gives you the marching orders. If you want to follow them, uh, you go to the bottom point of the uh, boat, and the he's going to start yelling. You want me up the bow? Is that what you're saying? Uh, on the, the boat, should it should slope probably in the middle somewhere. It should be sitting lower in the water. <laughs> Okay, I can do that. Okay, and then you're going to start screaming for help? Yeah, I'll have to transform, and then I will. Well, no, he wants you down underneath the bottom of the boat, hiding so they don't, like, see you, while he yells for help and hopes somebody throws a rope over. I want him to rescue me if nobody throws a rope over. Gotcha. Oh, he doesn't want me to change. Not yet. Okay. Because if he falls in, you're going to need somebody to rescue him. I don't swim. Okay, here's the good news. I can tell you don't swim okay. either. Uh, copious, uh, you communicate with Leaf. No, 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 no. He nah, disappears. Nah, nah. You begin to yell as Haggis is making his way up the chain. So Haggis, give me your athletics roll first. I did. It's 14. You are about halfway up when you hear, hoop, 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 I'm drowning. <laughs> From right next to you. <laughs> uh, copious D12 against me. Let's see if they hear you. Uh, if you win, they hear you. 10. They won. <laughs> Nobody hears you. Uh, Haggis, you reach the top. Uh, and it's, it's higher on both ends. There's a forecastle and a rear deck. Uh, but so far, you only see two sailors on the port side, the far side, the left side, we're learning, uh, on the ship. Now, you can hear copious, help, 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 I'm grounded. Uh, these two guys are smoking pipes and blah, 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 Catnip. they're in the world. So the railing is about a foot and a half above where this chain goes. Uh, what do you want? You want strength or dexterity? Strength to pull yourself up? or dexterity to swing yourself onto the deck. Once you get up there, you should do an Assassin's Creed and stab him in the back and push him over the boat. Great idea. Is dexterity, if I swing over, is there any chance that that would be more quiet than if I did strength? The sound is uh, not going to be either. If you fail on the strength, 
you'll still be stuck on the chain. If you fail on the dexterity, you go for a drink. Okay. <laughs> now I'll go for the dex. Just dex or like... Straight up there. Or acrobatic. Aren't you Mr. Acrobatic? Yeah. Apparently dexterity. 18. Yeah. You, you throw yourself on there. Uh, you splash a little bit. D12 against me. Let's see if they notice they've been boarded. Ten. Three. Uh, no. You have silently entered onto this vessel. Oh, yeah, you know what? I caught a fish about yay big. Oh, I caught a fish that weighed, you know, 400 pounds. Blah, blah. Sailor you go. You're pretty sure they might be drunk. Uh, they are not wearing any armor. Uh, they look like guards, but they don't, you don't see any weapons uh, from this angle. And, and they aren't decorated like military. So this is not a military craft. Uh, Manfang. You see him leap up and over, and he's gone. You hear copious, hip, hip, I'm drowning. <laughs> I'm going to start climbing up. Copious, D12 against me. Hey. They hear you this time. Uh, Haggis, give me a stealth roll as you are on the forecastle. <clears throat> well, you aren't on the forecastle. You're right next to it. Oh my God, 23. Oh yeah, you're hidden. You're, you're, you're tucked behind this uh, keg of something. You aren't sure what it is. And you see these two guys. Hey, did you hear that? Uh, and they start coming over. Not in any great hurry. Uh, they're just kind of investigating it. Uh, you might also hear a creaking of the chain as Manfang gives me his athletic rolls to see how he's done. All right, let me <clears throat> roll. I think my athletics is plus five. Touch the butt, touch the butt. Uh, um, athletics was yes plus five. Let's see if it's real well. That was a 14 plus five. That's 19. I don't know how to do math. Haggis, you can only assume that Man Fang will be here in just a moment. Now, Copious, you still have a hold of the chain, right? Uh, uh, yes. Okay. Uh, you, hear, <laughs> you hear a couple of people moving about, and you see Man Fang's butt uh, reach the top. Now, Man Fang, as you reach the top, you kind of look over and you see Haggis hunched down behind a barrel that's right there. You can use strength to pull yourself up or dexterity to swing yourself over next to him. Can I see the other two sailors walking over or no? Is, yes, you okay. can. Hey, sailor. Because they're holding, a, they're holding a light. Okay. Can I try to lock myself onto the chain with one arm and possibly throw a rock over to the other side and distract them so I can get on? What do you think you are? Where did you get the rock? Yeah, where'd you get the rock at, turd butt? <laughs> I've had it in my satchel. I've had it in my helmet. Uh, I want to take out the piece of foam that I put in my helmet. Oh, Brother. just get up the on the bears. deck. God. throw myself over so what, you guys so what I, it's not a video game son so what this i is hear game. is you want to die on the ship <laughs> yeah. go ahead and give me your athletics or i'm sorry your uh, strength or your dexterity either one Roll strength because it's better that's an 18 plus 5 which is a 23 almost at 13 oh you, you were just cool Oh, oh. Now give me your stealth check. Oh, that works. <laughs> well, I don't I don't have armor on. Yeah, so, so it's not that... disadvantage. Okay. So I just all right. Might we as well. Where's laugh. my stealth? I can do an intelligence. The only disadvantage is your roll. <laughs> See if he's smart enough to hide. That's an eight. <laughs> he hides behind the rope. <laughs> ha Haggis, uh Captain Stealth there. Uh yeah. Commander Smith. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Look at this! Oh yeah! Well, the two guys are like, "Holy shit! It's a lizard man!" And they run over Ocean Man and grab clubs, and they start oh, no. running this way. So, so uh, when he threw himself up on the deck, did he bump into the barrel? No, he did not. I, I, oh. I he is on top of the barrel. It should have been a one. Or something. Yeah. It, it, if it would have been a one, he would have collided. Knocked over the barrels like bowling pins and pinned Haggis to the deck. Uh, he is just and jumped up there like he's Errol Flynn or something. Uh, 
You now Imagine. have two sailors coming at you armed with clubs. Haggis, uh, you see the two sailors, you look up and you think, you know, if I push this keg out, he'll go flying into the water. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get and, off. And probably keg. hit copious in the face and kill them both. <laughs> I'm going to get off the keg and try to and try to and try to smooth things over. Initiative, uh, Haggis, Manfang, and I can't I can't try and smooth things over. They're too drunk or something. That's right. Eleven. That's a natural it's twenty. A yeah, a natural, natural one. So, okay, man, Fang, you are perched on top of these barrels. Man. Aha, Captain Chunk, what do you want to do? <laughs> jump, jump on them, jump on them. I would like to try and smooth things over and say, please, I, I mean no harm. I have come for you. I have come for your leader. What race are you again? <laughs> Dragon Man. Yeah, uh, you know what? I'll give you the opportunity. You are a diplomat. Why don't you persuade these guys that you are friend and not foe as you hear, help me, help me, Brandon, help me. <laughs> I'm do, your, do your intelligence roll. I, anyone want to put money on whether he sounds like a sleaze? Oh, hell no. I don't no. roll persuasion. Persuasion. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, if, well, I roll persuasion. That's a 17. Which is pretty nice. I'm gonna, I might two, the two drunk sailors are puzzled uh, and turn to each other. You see what I see? Is that, you see? Yeah. Uh, Haggis, you're up. You got so the they, diplomat right there. They, so they have, both have like clubs and they're like not going to attack. Not yet. But we don't know yet because I rolled the one. So we'll know what happens after you go. So I'm guessing that this is sort of like an up part of the ship, right? This is like the top. And well, then... you you are on the main deck. Okay. So you're like right here, and the forecastle's right here. And there's so... only two guys on the main deck. Only two guys. It's nighttime. Okay. Then I'm. If they're looking to, is are they looking towards Manfang? Is Manfang near me? You're the X. Yeah. Is uh, um... Manfang's right there. Okay, so I he's can't. on the barrel. Yeah, I say so. just knock the barrels out of the way and kill these. You know, guys. if you get these no. guys, oh, I got this. If you take <laughs> these guys out before they wake anybody up, you can kill the rest of them in their sleep. No, nah, that's not how I do it. Full board. That's, that's, how, that's I like how the attack. family does it. That's okay. how I like to do everything. I'm gonna get out of, out of my barrel. Okay, I'm out of my barrel, and the holy shit! Now there's two of them. Mm -hmm. well, Wait, see, I have my conviction. Are you a gnome? I am better than a gnome than a halfway. That's half better human. Better than a gnome. <laughs> we mean uh, better than a gnome. That's what we mean by better than a gnome. The dragon's the, one, don't say. Back in the cave, uh, Robert and Levi, give me perception checks. <clears throat> oh, no. Okay. Lee, oh, no. by the way, you are under the ship saying, take it in so long. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I'm watching Haggis. Hanging on to the chain, doing nothing. Let me try to run. No. Copious. I, I, you, Haggis. Copious. Or copious, I mean. Yeah, you little people all look the same to me. <laughs> wow. Yes. Rampant racism. <laughs> I'm thinking. That's how we do it here at Old Murder Hobo. Intense <laughs> racism and anger. <laughs> you put that on the back of your new t-shirt. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> you guys are wondering what the hell's she going on. She got a 26. On. I got a one. Uh, you are, are, what the hell's going on? Uh, Levi, you're like, man, a cave like this usually has monsters hanging off the side. And you see these stalactites starting to move and try and position over you just as the one on Robert drops. Uh, and misses him horribly with a nine. Uh, oh, so can't swim, huh? Give me initiative, Robert and Levi. Hey, I think this Roll. monster initiative. Watch me fail. Yeah. Woo. Oh. Eighteen. 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 Robert, I fail. Yeah, five. <laughs> nice. I got a seventeen. Uh, Levi, 
one of the piercers has dropped. The other one is trying to maneuver to get you. Uh, you have your choice of waiting to try and knock it out of the air or go after Robert. I want to... Go I for it. I want to use my longbow because there's one trying to position above me, right? Mm-hmm. I'm going to use my longbow and try. Say, to I'm going to shoot it. Try to shoot it. Yeah. Right. And we got a, yeah. a 12. That that probably. 12 hits. Uh, yeah. yeah. 12 hits, oh. piercer. Eight damage. Doesn't kill the piercer, which no. then drops upon you. Oh. Uh, with another five. So nine. Uh, Robert, yours uh, scooches over and tries to bite you in the shoe. Shoes. With a natural one, so you now get to go with advantage to your attack. My <laughs> glad, go cold. glad to see you're rolling good today, Frank. <laughs> yeah. I had four nat 20s last night. I got... I'm glad you used them all up. <clears throat> uh, I will do a spell. What are we going to spell? Firebolt coming online. Okay. Just don't fumble and hit the ship. So you're hit. There we go. Thank Sorry. you. You did it again. <laughs> One. No. 21. Right. Damage. That's a hit. And uh, damage all. 13. Ooh, that hurt. Uh, new round, Levi. Yours has plummeted to the ground, missing you horribly. You're up. You need to make your own decisions this day. I know. I'm letting you do it, but you need to make them quick so we're not sitting here. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, you can switch to your other weapons if you want. Because you are in close combat, I take it. Question. Where is it? Does it land next to me? Or is it like farther away from me? It's right next to you. Right. Both are on the ground next to each of you. Got it. Um, now that means you get, you have, can you, you, you can use both of them at I the same use, time. So I should go both. Yeah, you, uh, you'd have to attack twice. Okay. Two short sword attacks. I'm going to use my short <laughs> Both of my short, short swords. swords. Short swords. Short swords. <laughs> And try to hit it. Get okay, you, I can. You aren't going to use your polar bear. <laughs> no. I figured that is hanging out with the horses. Uh, probably. Oops. Okay. So she didn't want a polar bear. No. That's a nat twenty on your first one. Nat twenty. All right. Nice. So we'll, we'll come to that one now. Roll your other one. Let's see how bad I get this one. And that's a fourteen. Fourteen. Both hit. So roll your first one. The first one. It's with an eight, like yep. last time. And roll your second one. And my second one, seven. So. Now, don't forget, nat 20 damage. It did it. Mark. It, uh, uh, on it the program, automatically. It, it automatically sets it in. Yours is dead. Uh, the other one on Robert. Oh, that's an improvement. That's a three. <laughs> you're getting close. <laughs> yeah, you're up. 21 Robert. more points, and you hit me. Uh, my attack. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> How about a seven? That's gonna be a miss. Oh, we right. got to roll for magic though. Oh wait, that's a cantrip. You said cantrips. You don't have to, correct? Well, let's go with the uh, the fire. It's vehicle. a fire bolt. Yeah, let's go with the assault ones. Is that okay? Well, we'll roll. You rolled a four. I rolled a one this time. <laughs> Fair enough. I missed. Round Round three, Man Fang, uh, you're standing there wondering what's going to happen. Uh, Haggis has stood up, correct? That's what you yeah. did last time? Yeah, I'm up and I'm uh, accessing the situation. Okay, now do you have any weapons out? No, because I didn't use any weapons to climb with it. You guys overhear them. I think those are mermaids. Those are mermaids. I know that these are mermaids. You know what? They're men. 
Shut up. Shut, I'm going to go shut. give one of them a kiss. <laughs> it was coming. Fuck her up, boys. Bad thing. Bad thing. Uh, odd man fang, even haggis. Taylor boys. Her up, man, Fang, because <laughs> I'm gonna try and kiss you. I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a finger on his chest and say, "Hey, aren't you gonna take me out to dinner first? With a two, you poke me in the chest as I'm. Mm, uh, say, hey, now, not so fast, Buckaroo. You can now both smell that these guys are bearded up. I mean, they are drunk. So, new round, man, Fang, you're up. What do you want to do? As for no, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it was a man thing. Mm-hmm. I'd like to stop him if I already haven't and tell him not so fast, mm-hmm. Johnny you Boy. <laughs> You've like great to, persuasion. Oh, yeah. Johnny my boy and tell him help, this, help a girl and this girl gonna be the <laughs> this gonna be the row he fumbles right here. Yeah, right here. Him to help. Him to tell him so he can help Copius. That mm, who is your uh, <laughs> Where's your captain? I'd like Who's to speak your daddy? With... What does he do? <laughs> Where's your uh, manager? I'd like to speak with your manager, sir. I guess you're up after Karen. What do you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> what part of drunk do you not understand? You can I know like... what drunk is, though. I need to just convince them that I'm very persuasive. Um, I'm just going to let gonna him pass them. Uh... D12 against me. Let's see what your guy does. Four. Twelve. Hey! You ain't no mermaid. It's baseball season. <laughs> <laughs> so he's going to go ahead and try and clock you. Right. Another three! <laughs> so, like Man, 30? Ma- or three no, times. like three to hit you. Oh, okay. All right. Then uh, that's fine. <laughs> uh, Man Fang, D12 against me. Let's see if I'm going to try and kiss you, me winning, or uh, puzzled, you winning. I got to roll die 12? Yep. Uh, please win. Please, I need to win. So it's ugly, man. It's four. <laughs> Reroll. Uh. Roll it again, Frankie. 10. Ooh, back off. Okay, I don't think you're a mermaid. <laughs> well, hey now, we're not mermaids, we're mermen, and we could show you where all the merladies are if you just let us be for the time being so we can discuss this. Well, you see Hoggis making his way across the deck, I assume, Hoggis? Just uh, trying to get to the other side. But... Help! Yes. Help! Help! <laughs> See, as, down there, that's a murder lady. As, as Kobe is hanging on for dear life, wondering what the hell you guys are doing, uh, as you try and cross this ship, which isn't a wide vessel, it's rather narrow, what are you going for? Uh, you've got the hold in the center forward in front of the mast, uh, and you've got a door at the rear of the ship, a door at the front of the ship. So what what is your direction, August? Okay, um, I'm gonna go to the rear of the ship <laughs> where the um, big what's what do you, what do you call that? So so you've got it. It looks like this. Yeah, the, there there are doors right here and, and stairs that lead up. This would be where the uh, sailors' wheels at the steering wheel. Oh, okay, then I'll, I'll I'll go to the door as stealth as possible, and unless the guy is still falling, he's following you. Hey, hey, hey! Do you want to go to the one on the left, closest to Robert and Levi, or the one on the far side, uh, on the other side of the ship, the port side? Um, I'll go to the one on uh, the port side. Fair enough. You cross over. You see that the sails are fur or uh, furled. They're bound up tight so the ship's not going anywhere it is anchored you're moving along and the guy's like hey now wait just a damn minute i need to talk to you are you gonna keep walking and because he's already taken a swing at you once um i'm gonna keep walking okay fair enough it's just like he's walking and he's stumbling and the guy behind him stumbling 
I mean, if he's staggering. drunk, there's a there's a chance he might have. You know. Yeah. Uh, Robert and Levi, back to you. Robert, we still have yours to deal with. Uh, and I believe you're up. I'm up. Yeah, because I, I ditched my role to attack you again. Casting a spell. Ooh, ooh, that was. We're safe again. And we are rolling an eight to hit. Jeez, Louise, I can't hit nothing. It's just plus one. Levi, give me a uh, perception check. Oh, no. I'm scared already. What's my bad roll happen? Ten. Oh, ten. Big ten. ten. Oh, bad. Well, you got the one at Robert's feet. You going to charge over and kill the last one? I might kill the last one with my short swords. Go for it. I will. Attack. I will. Let's see if I get a bad roll. I probably will. Quit jinxing it. That's 23. Hit it with the other one. I, I got a 23 for or one huh. and trying not to fail. And a 12. 12. Both good. All right. Do some damage. Damage. First one, a nine. nine. Roll again. It's dead. Second one, a seven. I always get seven on my second one. It's dead. You're welcome. Two, Two more. more. Are you kidding me? Robert. 14 plus 2, 16. Damn it. Uh, 13 plus 2, 15, Levi. Nope. Total He's of three. What your armor class is, so three on the deck. Or better, and he hits you. What? Opius, give me a wisdom roll, please. Mm-hmm. 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 You have come to realize depending on your two associates, was definitely no the way. wrong choice. <laughs> nope. Uh, and you are now questioning your entire life. <laughs> you can yell louder in the hopes to get their attention, possibly gaining the attention of other members of the crew, or not. I'm going to try to crawl up. I don't have a choice. Otherwise, I'm gonna I'm gonna die on a chain stuck on the side of a boat. Sure. Uh, acrobatics. You know, I just I hear this gnome climbing up the chain, going, "Stupid sons of bitches!" All of them sitting here screaming for help. Acrobatics or athletics? Uh, was it athletics. Either? Athletics. I think it's uh, athletics. Athletics. Yeah, with athletics. Yeah. yeah. Because, all right, you get up to the top. <clears throat> okay, you see an amorous sailor oh, kind of hitting on man fang. You see Haggis storming across the deck, getting chased by a staggering sailor. Again, y- you've had so many low points in your life, you're really beginning to question this. Uh, you can you can almost reach out and grab the ledge. Uh, and if you want to yank yourself over, that's strength. If you want to just throw yourself over, that's dexterity. What could go wrong with this? He's gonna he's gonna try dexterity. Yeah. Seventeen. Uh, D twenty straight up again. Let's see if you kick Man Fang in the butt and have him land on the guy. And he kisses him. That's exactly what happens, Man Fang. You get crashed into by Copius, who's pissed and wet. Uh, you fall forward onto this guy. You pin him to the deck, and he looks up at you and goes, "That's what I'm talking about." <laughs> uh, <laughs> Leaf, Le- Le- all you can hear is elevator music, and you're like, "Okay, where does feet go, and what the hell's going on?" Stranger, as soon as I, as soon as I see him coming up out of the going out of the water, I'm gonna swim to the chain and and convert. You convert. You and climb Protestant. The, and then I'm gonna climb no. Then I'm gonna climb the chain. Okay, uh athletics. Uh 15. You get to the top. Levi, you're up. There are three piercers on the deck. You have no idea how many more are out there because you aren't looking up, but really? you know there are three, two on Robert, one on you. You got a piercer on you. Mm, I'm gonna try to kill it. 
No, okay, sure. Yeah, it's right next to you. Honey. Oh, it's next to me. So meaning it's it's ready for you to attack. Okay, I'm gonna like again. I'm gonna hit it with a short sword. Like You're I'm welcome. doing because it's that easy to Continue hit. Continue your attack. It, a sixteen. That's a hit, hit. As far as I know, twelve was hit, so that's gotta be <clears throat> 16. sixteen again. All right, do your damage. And then damage for the first one. Nine, Nine. damage for the first Good. one. Seven damage for the second one. There you go. Still alive. Dang it. I don't like this thing. Uh, they will oh. attempt to bite. Uh, Robert. <sighs> Three. One. Uh, Levi. 17 plus two. 19. So your piercer does indeed bite you. Yes. I'm gonna kill the thing. I mean, three hit points of damage. Robert, you're up. I got three hit points. Uh, you have advantage on the new one, or three there's the points. severely wounded one. Uh, well, let's go with the uh, advantage. All right, melee or spell? Spell. Nope. I'm All waiting right. for you so to send that hit. fireball and sink the ship. <laughs> 17. 17 does hit. Ooh, 15 you were points damage. damage. That one's dead. Uh, Haggis, as you're walking across the deck, you get to the doorway. You notice on the port side of the ship, there's a small rowboat. Uh, it's not the Lusitania. It's not the Titanic. They have an escape route. So there is a rowboat here. You put your hand on the door. By this time, the drunk comes up to you, grabs you by the shoulder. I got mine. Ooh, grabs you by the shoulder and spins you around. Who the hell are you and what are you doing on this ship? But first, Man Fang, uh, you are cheek to cheek, nose to nose uh, with... A sailor who now isn't positive you aren't a mermaid. <laughs> uh, now he really thinks it, so I'm going to get off him immediately. Okay. So you're going to roll, roll off of him and stand up? Yes, and say, hey now, don't do that. And then walk away. This day is over, and then walk away. Well, you, you get up and yell at him. Copious, uh, not sure what happened. Leaf, really not sure what's going on. <laughs> All you know is they look like they were kissing each other on the deck. My I, I, just some things I don't want to see. Yeah. So, Copious, you're up first. Um, so, which up? So, I scanning the deck, the two drunken sailors, two doors that haven't been opened. Whatever door is opposite of the one that Haggis is screwing around with, I want to go to that door and check to make sure there's nobody else on board the ship. So you stay along the starboard side and go to that door. Uh, Leaf, you are hanging on to the chain. You I want to get up on deck. Strength or dex? Uh, 16. You're Whichever. Uh you see Manfang has risen. Uh, Finished. That, we'll say it that way. No, uh, no we're not. August, uh, you have been spun around by this drunken sailor with the club, and it looks like he's going to go ahead and give you what for with the club. What do you want to do? Okay. Okay. I'm going to... Push is this off. guy like wearing armor? Does he look strong? Looks like his... No, nope, looks like a normal person. Okay. I really want this ship. And kill push him over the edge. Yeah, Don't I'm, kill him. Push him over the edge. We're not near an edge. We're near a door. I'm going to kill him. So I'm going to use my uh, short dagger. Go ahead. How big is a short dagger? Is it this big? <clears throat> I mean, it's, it's not like those, too thick. It's not. Yeah. Th well, hey, this is pretty big. <laughs> hey, it's not that small. I'm using my it's short cold sword. Out. Don't be silly. Using my short sword, actually. Nothing. Okay. I'm saying nothing. 15. <laughs> that hits. Okay. What Six. are you doing? Yeah. 
All we're trying to do is get out of the caves, right? Yeah. 14. Might as well take a ship. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> it, you're right to the heart. I mean, he just folds. He right. folds again. He Do you make like a nose? That's what we're checking on. Six. Deuce. Uh, no noise. Silent but deadly. You have killed him and dropped him. Uh, Copius, you look over and you see this poor sailor <laughs> fall to the ground. Uh, behind you, you may have heard the light-footed uh, stomping of Lisa the Druid swash his way back up oh. under the ship. Uh, and Manfang is, hey, you, take your damn hands off her. Uh, mm -hmm. We will move back to Robert and Levi, who each have a piercer. Uh, Levi, you are up first. Levi, you are up first. Mm, mine's still alive, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm going to attack what? it again. One of each. Go ahead. I'm going to attack it again. Roll ahead. Probably with a short sword. Yeah, both roll ahead. Roll ahead. I like using my... Ooh. That's a hit. I got 23 for the first one. Come on. Roll again. Stop. Step it up a little. 11. 11? 11? 11's good. 11's your... Right. 11. Damage. Damage. Eight. Eight. Roll again. This is a seven. Nine. And nine. There you go. 17 added to the other 16 that you did. Done. Uh, Robert, uh, it's advantage, your advantage is now gone. I'll be 19 plus 2, 21. It bites you on the big toe for. That didn't hit me. 21 doesn't hit you. Really? I'm, I'm still working on it because it's I have a miscellaneous bonus. Because oh, okay. I had a shield with plus two on it. And I'm wearing half plate and my dexterity bonus. But then it gives me another plus two for miscellaneous bonus shield. I don't know what that extra two is. Either way, you still wouldn't hit me. 22 is what I should. I have. I just don't understand that last bonus. Gotcha. No damage then. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Your attack. Uh, and yours is the only one left. All right. Well, we're casting spell. Three. Two. I missed. Fair enough. Uh, Hoggis, you've just killed a sailor. Uh, Copius and Leaf, I need you to roll initiative to see what order we're doing this in. New order or same order? Because Manfang was first, then was 16. First. Same order for them. 16. Um, 17. Okay, Manfang, uh, you're up. Uh, your amorous sailor does not want to take no for an answer. Ooh. Well, I'll tell him, hey, no means no, and if you don't, I'm calling the authorities. <laughs> Stranger danger. And then I'm going to kick him in the it's face the really hard. Your claws. Right. Give him a good scratch. Uh, <laughs> no. Kick him. Kick him. That's a D6. He's on the ground still, so can I, like, Kick him in the head really hard since he's at disadvantage and I'm at advantage since I'm standing. Sure, that seems like a uh, very respectful thing to do. Yeah. Go yeah. stomp him. No means no. And then I'll curb stomp him with my boot. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, you have my what shot? is that? What do I roll for with that? Just melee hit? Regular? Uh, hit with dexterity is your modifier. Okay. That was my modifier. So it's just. <laughs> mm, all right. <laughs> Copious, you guys are just trying to get a lift, correct? Uh, 13 plus one. <laughs> just going to go out and ask them if they could go pick up our comrades who are stuck in there. We got trapped in the caves. We just need a lift to the shore. Sure, that's fine. We're just uh, coming out to ask if they I want got, to give us their boat. I got I want 14. Their boat. Yeah, man, I got 14 to hit them and boot them in the skull. D6 plus your strength modifier for damage. All right. Of course, we take the boat. We could sell it. We might be able to pay our taxes. <laughs> That's eight. I get to keep that boat. Is he out cold or is he just really in pain? He's unconscious. No, Felix Good. is paying your taxes. Mm -hmm. Now uh, I'm gonna. Now can I? Is there anything like I can hide him behind? Uh, those barrels where Haggis came out of. There's a whole sea you can drop him down into. That's no, cool. I don't. Well, 
I don't want to kill him. I just want to crush his skull in with my boot. <laughs> well, I said no means no. Copious, uh, you reach the starboard rear uh, door. Uh, it appears to be unlocked. Going to open it. Look inside. Give me a stealth check. Oh, ah. uh, 21. Boy, you're Recent, quiet. Recently oiled. You peer in. Uh, in the dim light, because you don't have dark... Oh, you've got an amulet, though, don't you? I have dark vision and an amulet. Actually, okay. I have two amulets. Yeah, you see uh, a collection of hammocks, and six of those hammocks are swaying in the breeze with bodies in it. Uh, quick look around. Uh, you see foot lockers. Uh, enough for one per bunk uh miscellaneous stuff uh it, it's kind of it takes up more than half the ship so the door that Hoggis is at is going to be maybe a third you're taking up two thirds this would be the uh bunk area uh and everybody's sound asleep am i at the rear of the ship or the front of the ship you're at the back can back i front? see leaf the druid oh yeah Oh yeah. Can I can I get his attention or whisper to him? And if if he uh he wants you to bunt leave. <laughs> bunt, bunt. No, 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 no. Clean hands, clean hands. <laughs> Plausible deniability. Uh, <laughs> we need a way to lock this door so that no one inside there can get out. I don't see any portholes or windows okay. that look out from the bunk. Well, round porthole. So they, nothing they can get, get through, though. Yeah. Now, uh, you got barrels. Know, you can, might be able to fit a gnome through there. Yeah. You, you, you got, got door, barrels. All the door open this way, right? Door opens out. Yeah. I, I And I, I don't know if Haggis, if we have a way of spiking the door, I mean, we can pile a barrel up in front of it, but I, if we can spike it or lock it. Why do we want to do that? Leaf, you, uh, you see Copious waving you over. Uh, you guys go over there. He whispers to you what's going on. Apparently, this is where the bulk of the sailors are probably at, unless they're sleeping uh, down under. Uh, but a ship this size probably only has 10 to 15 people on it. Uh, he wants to spike the door. Uh, okay. You don't have any of your equipment, do you? Or you does... I've got all my stuff. Oh, because it, 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 it turns with me. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's got pythons. If you guys want to try yeah, that, that's I, I think the pythons are probably the best idea. Let's spike the door. All right. I don't want I don't want to have to <clears throat> slaughter the entire crew. And then when I'm talking with Leaf, if we can manage to spike the door, we'll still put a barrel in front of the door. Yeah. But the question, Leaf, is whether we want to grab the rowboat and take off, or whether we want to take command of the ship. No, I well, let's 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 spike the door first. Get it. Get the place secured. <clears throat> Give me we'll a straight this. up, give me a straight up D20 leaf on how All successful right. you are with a Python. Nope, uh, just straight up. Ooh, 19. Oh yeah. That thing's wedged solid. Okay. They're gonna have to just break through the door. Now uh let's take the rowboat and one of us, I can take it, you can take well, yeah, you ain't taking it. I'll take the rowboat back and get Levi and, and Robert <laughs> while you guys secure the ship and get it ready so we can go. If we have the rowboat, is it big enough to haul all, all six of us? Eight eight passenger rowboat. It's a long boat. We we could we can take the long boat and just we're just trying to get up the coast. We don't need a, a ship to sail. Oh, don't we? I think we do. If we give the long boat to Levi, that mom makes up for it. We get a big ship. You know she gets her boat back. Whoa. Think you about it. To, to Levi? Whoa, she still owes us for the raft she destroyed. <laughs> I'm not playing his mind games. Well, you know how it is. You can't trust those drought. Okay, fine. Let's get, get some supplies together. Let's get the longboat launched. I don't give a shit what we do. Otherwise, we're trying to the sail a ship. One we're more level and I'll fly. There's a dead body. We need to, like... What dead body? One I don't problem, see a dead body. As you guys head to the longboat, 
you see uh, a pool of an increasing pool of blood underneath the sailor that Haggis just stabbed in the aorta, and Haggis is reaching over to open up that other door. Let's give slide him uh, over over the shore, over the side. Give me an Arcana check, Leaf and Copious. That's a twenty-four. You better tell me quickly. Oh, no. I'm trying to get it back. It's natural it. twenty. Both of you realize crew quarters, captain's quarters. Yeah. <laughs> and you see Haggis reaching for the door. Haggis Anything? Looking. Anything? Anyone? Haggis. No. I'm just going to look at, at Leaf and say, what did I do in my life that led me to this point? <laughs> I have a sp- I have something a ma- pretty bad. That's what I'm gonna say back. Something pretty bad. I have a thief thing that makes me summon like a magic hand that mimics my real hand, but like it's not like actually my hand. Like I could lift stuff up from far away. You know what I mean? You know what yep. I'm saying? Mage hand. Yep, got it. Yeah, mage. Hand. <laughs> you, you know, you could you could have a whole lot of fun with man fang with that thing. <laughs> Okay, I'll just okay. I'm, you. <laughs> I'm gonna use the mage hand to open the door without using my real hand, but I'm gonna stay back. Stealth check. Okay. 18. Oh These doors are well oiled. D12 against me. Let's see if the captain's a light sleeper. What? 12 or D12? D12. Eight. Uh, copious will ah. still end up having to kill everybody. That's just the way this shit works out. I know, but I, I'm just wondering if we get in the long boat and then we just set fire to the whole big boat. Oh, it's not a bad good. idea. Eleven. Uh, the captain does sleep with one eye open and he yells out loud enough where Leaf, Copious, and I guess here, who the hell's bothering me? Uh-oh. Only it's, a, only it's a woman's voice. Oh, Ooh, kill her. Thank it's God me. Felix isn't on the ship. You know, me, I'm going to say Blackbeard. Haggis convince her that it's okay. Shove him in the door and shut it. He what? is a diplomat. Here, let me sure? go in and convince them. So while you Give guys ponder time. what you're going to do, uh, Robert and Levi, uh, hey, guys, we again. got to get them out of that cave, man. I, it's, we need to get the rowboat and go pick them up. <laughs> Robert and Levi. I, I'm going to start lower, lower in the long boat now. Checks. Sure. Hey, Robert, has it dawned on you that uh, the DM has mentioned how many stalactites and stalagmites there are in every cave we passed? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what did I roll, Soph? You changed it over on me. She rolled a dirty 20. You got a 13. I got a 13. Yeah, uh, there's, there's more of them moving along. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Hello? like this. How long can you tread water? They're gonna, they're, they're gonna keep dropping. None of them are in range right now. So if you want to start picking them off the ceiling, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or or you can try and follow them and move away. Or we're and gonna move, move away too. Okay. Give me a straight up D20 roll then to make sure you don't hit a slick spot and go into the drink. Uh, Leaf, I'll take a survival roll from you trying to lower the longboat, which takes two people. I rolled a 19. Okay. Uh, 18. Levi? Levi, make your roll. For a d20? Yeah. Oh, no. Just straight. Uh, she rolled a 14. 14. Dang. Okay, you guys are moving around, uh, doing the dance, so you guys are okay. <laughs> Leaf, you figured out that you need to do both hands. Uh, give me a D4 to see how many rounds it's going to take. If it takes one, you drop it into the drink. <laughs> one. Down it goes. Splash. Uh, straight up D20. Let's see if there's hey, a hole the in hell? it. <laughs> uh, eight. Uh, you lost yes. an oar. Okay. But a little, got a little leak. Yeah, it, but now it appears to be floating. Okay. He just, just lost one of the oars. I'm going to so, tell so Copious, I, I'm going after Robert and Levi, and I'm going over the side. Hurry back. Uh, acrobatics check. Oof, 
good 19. Oh, yeah. You uh, shimmy down the ropes and boom, in there. Uh, I'll retrieve my ore that went over the side first and then start heading for the cave. All right. First available opportunity, Copius is going to go ahead and summon Shadow Armor and his, his weapon. Right now, <laughs> right now would be a good time. Uh, yeah. I'm going to do cast this. a spell. Oh, no. Which one? Please don't be let, let me uh, do it. Hey, you okay. know, I'm going to tell you something right now, Robert. I will not chase you back through these caverns if your ass takes off. I'll pick up Levi and go. How far away is everything? The ship is 170 feet away. No, I'm talking about everything around me. Oh, uh, maybe 60 feet up. Oh, here we go. Backtrack. Yeah, I got to roll these bad boys now. <clears throat> 96 excluding you all creatures including her uh, within 30 feet gain resistance to piercing damage for one minute uh, a mm. boon for Levi uh, also a boon for the piercers <laughs> I'm casting Literally. thunder wave okay that'll bring them down <laughs> I'm sure it probably won't bring down the roof and, and, it, and, it, and it's, it, the uh, thunderous sound emits 300 foot. Oh, yeah. Everybody's going to be deaf. 17 points of damage. Are they all dead? Give me a D12, Robert. Oh, no. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, wand. my gosh. I rolled a wand. Ten, uh, you're bringing down the house. You guys are both going to take uh, bludgeoning damage from the Should have slammed. Should have slammed. So, seeing as how you're immune to piercing damage. <laughs> it's a hobo oh, and a five. Oh. That's, that's eleven big points of damage right there. Oh. Both of you. Uh, how did it taste to not have swum? Also, everybody on the ship just here's this amazing racket. The ship lurches to the port side, since it carries out. Leaf looks up and sees the ship coming right on top of him. Give me a survival roll, Leaf, or get swamped <laughs> under. The good thing like I that, got a plus eight on that survival It's like that roll, time, that, it's it's like it that time when the Titanic went. 26. Uh, I just like to stir the pot. Leaf, Leaf like braces... It. With the oar, it gets pushed along with the Brick ship. Sec, second, Robert Miller. Man, Fang, Copious, and Haggis. Give me uh, dexterity. I, I have on your feet. Okay, uh, I'm going to roll that, but I also have an idea. 15, oh, but I want to I want to remind Man, Fang, or just ask him, where's all this gear again? 16. Huh? Where am I? Not you. Or, your gear. Oh, you left it gear? in the cave. Oh, yeah, it's all back on the cave. What was it's your Haggis? I only have my hands now. Uh, my hands, my helmet, and my shell. 17. One man, one helmet, and one shell. One all and a half shells. All three of you managed to stay on your feet. The captain, uh, with my notorious rolls, is flipped out of his bunk onto her, the deck. Her bunk. Her, her bunk. Her. Uh, he, now, she, him, they, why? Now she's BLT sandwich. Can I do something really quickly, or is it not worth it? Uh, we'll go with Manfang, then Copious. Leaf will be moving the boat, and then it's you. So go ahead, Thank Manfang. You. Okay, so she, she's up now. She's up. Has she walked out she yet? Not, she is on the deck right now. She is not gone yet. She goes in between Copious and Hoggis. Okay. I can see her, correct? She's on a couple, oh, yeah. a couple rounds, but on both. She's on have, all fours and just. Uh, she's on all four. All right. Um, she's she's, a a <laughs> uh, she's, she's a I, get I, I get it. I get it now. Like, I mean, um, no, I am going to ask her that your your yeah, man tried to assault me, and I am just appalled at the service you have. The naked dragonborn is trying to reason with the pissed off female sailor. It'll I'll go say, well. I'll take I'm not na- hey, I'm not naked. I have a helmet and a shell. I am perfectly clothed in turtle society. 
Uh, he's sense. not naked. He's so, wearing a sock. Yes. Uh, <laughs> give me your persuasion roll. All righty. What is better, my persuasion? Better be high. Was, was oh, no. It was, uh, what is it, plus? It's plus nothing. All right. Then that's yeah, 16. It, it <laughs> uses your intelligence. 16. 17 on my roll. Copious, uh, you hear the statesman speak. Well, there was that time where we summoned the deity. Uh, there was the time I listened to these guys. It was the time I nearly died in the jungle. Uh, you're just enumerating all the missed steps you've made. You are up, Copious. What do you want to do? I see. The, did the captain actually make it out of her? Her cabin, or is she in her cabin? She got flipped down. She's on all fours like this. She goes after you. But she's in her cabin where she got knocked out of the hammock, right? Correct. I'm also there and speaking to her about how appalled I am at the service. Manfang, did you go in the cabin? Yeah, I'm inside. I'm going to run up and shut the door. (laughs) Fine, I'll deal with it myself then. Fair enough. Uh, Man what Fang. a crew, what a crew. No eggs, fine, I'll do it myself. <laughs> Man Fang, you're pretty sure you're getting through to her. When you see her hand, go to her boot. She throw it or she pulls it out at me? She's flinging a dagger at your face. Well, I have my helmet on, so. Uh, 15 plus 5 is a dirty 20. Doesn't do much. You, you ever see the meme where the arrow is in the eye? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's That's your what's AC, happening. Frankie? Without anything, it's just your natural. Oh, he's got his yeah. turtle shell. That's a plus yeah. one. No, it's not. That turtle shell was was it plus one? My original. I was. With, all right. I probably don't have much. Uh, Thirty twenty. <laughs> Thirty twenty. Yeah, I'm definitely hit. Yeah, even with my armor on, I would have been hit. <laughs> oh, I got uh, right here. Oh, you take three piercing damage, which if you were in the class cave wouldn't mean anything. Yeah. Uh, but she just throws that dagger and it it cuts right along your chin line. Oh no, you're gonna be scarred. And oh then no. You, <laughs> then, then you, you feel suck. like your then you feel like your life force has been drained by five more hit points. <laughs> oh. 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 Wait, what does what does that it, helmet do? It gives me it winds my like eyesight. So he really sees this dagger come. Yeah, and I saw it in like 4K <laughs> HD coming right up my eyeball. Yes, you saw the diplomat wander in. Hey, babe, let's discuss this. <laughs> and Copious slam the door and say, screw this. What sayeth you, Hoggis? So Come on in and help me. Last, I, I stabbed a dude. He died. And when <laughs> the boat Stab did this... I'm guessing his body moved away from me and hopefully me or maybe copious or leaf. It, it went off to the left. So it's stuck against the railing on the port side where leaf went overboard to get the rowboat out, shaking his head and cursing the day he ever met you that. <laughs> so um, uh, where's the pirate captain relation to me? Cause the door still is doors open or it was just closed. Right. Just close. So it's behind the door, and all you hear is, ah! ah! The diplomat has been cut. So she's in there with him, basically. Yeah. Okay. I like to imagine I would say yowza when I get cut. <laughs> then, uh, man, um, man Fang, before he does what he's going to do, D12 against me, please. Ah, that would be fun. That's not a D- that is a D12. I got a 7. What did you get? 11. <laughs> Go ahead, Haggis. <laughs> What kind of wood is this door? What, what are you planning on doing before you continue? Because I'd like to have a oh. say. <laughs> walnut, I'll say, I guess. So you have acid that only burns cherry. like walnut? Zero this is birch wood. What rages? Okay, um, I'm going to uh, shoot a acid a- acid splash at the door. That sounds reasonable. Why are you shooting the door? <laughs> With acid. Why? You can open the door. door. It's not locked. You know. Not that, locked. Right? You can open it. I tried to open it, but it didn't open. You never said anything. Yeah, you, you, you used the mage hand to open it up and see the sleeping captain. 
Oh. Yeah. Then he closed oh. it. Now oh. I know. <laughs> I closed it because the captain was there with Man Fang, and Man Fang's trying to talk her out of whatever she's going to do. I'm like, screw this! I'm just shutting the door. Okay, off. then I'm I'm going to open the door with my regular hand, okay. on my regular body. I'm going to open the door. Sure. As I need you to suck up, the poison out of my neck. As you open it up, there's a dagger embedded in the door. Does it look cool? Like, what does it look like? Like, what's mermaid it? dagger? It's got to be a mermaid dagger. I'm <laughs> yeah. yeah. Merman dagger. Man. Oh, it's yeah, a, yeah, it's a, it's a match set. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it out of the door and put it in my weapons pouch. And cut Alex, yourself. Alex is gonna listen to this. Again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he will. He's uh, rolling. He's rolling. Like, is that not <laughs> the reason we do it? Yeah, that's exactly why. Mission accomplished. So, uh, Haggis and Copious perception check. 15. 19. Uh, Copious and Haggis, A, uh, you can see the blood just oozing out of Manfang's chin. You can see the pissed off female captain getting to her feet. And worst of all, you can hear what the hell's going on from over there and the door is trying to be shaken open. And then you hear behind you, over by the barrels, that's it, somebody's paying the price. <laughs> Where'd my mermaid go? It's Inside the cave, Levi takes the last bit of rubble off her face. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> to Robert, uh, <laughs> looks up, and you guys see piercers coming at you. Not your fault. Well, you want to go swimming? It's not my shit laying on the ground here. <laughs> Dive. Oh, wait a second. Oh, man. That's you probably about. ought to do a perception check hey. and see if you see me coming in the boat. Hey, I, Levy. I, I think Levi. you should you might kick Levy. all of his stuff Levy. into the water Jeans. to hey, uh, <laughs> use this as a Hey, Levy. <laughs> hey, Levy. Hey, Levy, Gene. We're gonna, I'm going to call you Gene. You can Levi. You get my stuff, Levi. Hey, Levy uh, hey there, lover boy. Uh, you're currently engaged <laughs> with the captain, and things are about to get real bad for you. It's fine. I know how to calm her down. Uh, uh, remember that scene in the <laughs> Avengers where, like, Wonder Woman was talking to Hulk? <laughs> yeah, she's going to turn you into a sim, son. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm going to try to talk to her as I tr also do great dodges She's a level that's, 15 that, assassin, that's, so while going. i try to calm her down and say hey wait a minute i'm going to observe the room no that's gonna like be more like Lokai. she's the hulk and you're loki bam 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 yeah i'm gonna grab you by the ankle and be donkey kong in your ass all oh yeah ass. yeah but i'm gonna try and calm her down and say that hey this wasn't my fault i know the guys who did it we can go get them as I try to survey the su survey my situation. Like, what's it, Muay Thai? Uh, <laughs> I'm sure the uh, Eastern uh, origins are best for you. I think you should stick with that plan. <laughs> yep. As I okay. survey the situation, I'm trying to convince her to calm down. All right. Uh, the situation is this. There is ambient light coming in because Haggis has just opened the door. She can see Copious and Haggis silhouetted. She doesn't know any of you three. It's not going to take an insight roll to realize that she is somewhat dubious of your carefree nature, uh, especially since there's a blood streak right in front of her door <laughs> that goes to the left side of the boat when it lurched. So uh, you may talk till you turn blue in the face, but I'm going to guess you realize this is not going to go well. I... I trust in my ability, but I can't convince her with enough persuasion. I'll be right yeah. back. Go ahead. All right. Ooh, I get your now. What did she do this time? Uh, that's a big roll. Get the uh, hell out of the room! Ah, no! Ah, 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 ah. What did you say, Dad? The hell? Mm -hmm. I was trying to slap some sense into the idiot. Didn't work. I'm still showing the 
I have faith in my convincing and diplomatic abilities. I get right. shut the door and leave him to die. This is great role playing, though. He is playing his character's intelligence. I agree. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it was my intelligence. What do you say? Apply saying? some cold water to that burn. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, so since I'm surveying and thinking that I might be able to calm this down, I'm going to slowly shuffle out the door, looking her directly in the eyes. <laughs> Electric like some animals, you have to look them directly in the eyes to calm them down. <laughs> yeah. Yes, always maintain eye contact. I always with remain. Angry beast. Yes, direct eye contact. Yes. My eyes are like this. Make sure you keep your contact so they know that you're the one challenging them. Yes. All right. As I slowly moonwalk Show out the door. Yes. Yes. Right. <laughs> Copious, uh, you know how this is going to end. <laughs> you got the sailors beating on the door. You got the drunk sailor who loves man thing coming across. Burn it down. Burn it down. What if we start a mutiny? Pirates love to do that. I, you know what? I, I, if worse comes to worse, I have a potion of flying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> hey, it's your turn, so you can do so, whatever you want. <laughs> I would keep that potion close. <laughs> oh, Lord. So the the enraged captain is uh, is approached is he she didn't she's bef- she's after me, right? She is after you. Uh, and so I've got the, the sailor, the drunk sailor stumbling towards us. I'm going to H- just point. H- Haggis is holding the door. The other sailors are beating on the door. Let us out. What the hell's going on? I'm going to delay my action if I can. Sure. And I, but if, if you allow me, I'm just going to point for the drunk sailor and say the mermaid's in there. Hey. In the captain's thing? Yeah. That's a fair Wait a question. second. I have a better idea. Let him come in. Uh, the captain is quite proficient with her rapier, reaches over, grabs it, and is going to Swiss cheese you uh, with her three attacks. Oh, Can I... Three? Three. Uh, I might die to here, boys. I'm just saying. You brought that upon yourself, moron. Uh, it was your fault. You wanted the boat. 18, 2, and 11. 11 plus 7 is 18. 18 plus 7 is 25. How many of those hit? Uh, 18 and 25, because I know the uh, 2 is not going to get you. Yeah, they both hit, because I took my armor off. Don't worry, it's only 2d8 plus 6. <laughs> 2d8? <gasps> plus 6. I think she has a magic <gasps> weapon, Frankie. What do you think? I, I believe she might have a magic weapon. Well, the, the first roll, <coughs> total of three. Ow, oh, still. Second roll is a total of four. So seven plus six plus six is 19 hit points of damage, and she starts to turn you into a sieve. Copious, you held your action. Do you want to take it now or let Haggis, who is standing in the doorway, watching the other end of this blade coming out of man thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to turn into Swiss cheese. Can you help? I'm letting, I'm letting Haggis go. I'm holding my action. Okay, yeah, Haggis. Sure. Uh, it, it's like a magic trick. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this. How many times have I had a hole blasted in me? <clears throat> Not the way, way to say that, but... Um, I got that dagger, right? Yeah, it's right there. But I have it, right? It's like in my bag there. Yeah. Yeah, you said you put it in your bag, so. Okay. And she's not like looking at me, right? Like, Are you trying like, to sneak attack her? Yes. I, I, well, you're going to have to get a round man thing. But now if you use missile weapons, I will give you the sneak attack. You should I have like, I, you're halfway there. You use missile be, weapons. I have a magic bow. I have two weapons. members of the party with by one captain. Acid splash would be pretty good. I can sure. actually, I've rested, I could throw a acid on her unless she stabs me in the throat, and which will spew out my throat everywhere in a continuous fashion. I'm going to do um, Witch Bolt. Sure. I'll give you a sneak attack. I have a question. How wide is this captain's quarters? Uh, 15 feet. The doorway 15. is three. 
here. Sneak with okay. a missile. Is that like two missiles or like just so extra, uh, extra die damage for you? Oh, okay. Natural twenty. Yeah, Ooh. Rick over there. Too. Nice. So two extra die. Okay, the the regular one is one die twelve. Mm, no, so it's damage. A bit damage seven. Sneak attack damage. Eleven. Two. Seven, eleven. Two. How much do you get for sneak attack? 18, 19, 20. Another I gave him an e extra die. That's that's twenty plus six, so twenty six. <laughs> oh, plus six, twenty six. Fair enough. Uh, a drunken sailor comes up behind you, and he's going to try and grab you with a ten. Uh, so he reaches out as you do your magic witch bolt and doesn't get you. Uh, Leaf. All you hear is screaming and yelling, and you're just God. I'm gonna row a little faster. Meanwhile, there's there's dust coming out of the cave, and you're like, you know, I could have been like a carpenter. <laughs> uh, you will get there at the end of this round, uh, Robert and Levi. You got piercers just coming everywhere. Uh, what do you want to do? I'm jumping into the water wounds so I don't die. Right. Just jump into the water. My it's magic easy. roll is four. Ooh. Uh, e4? Three. Okay, we're safe. Well, yeah. <laughs> safe enough. 14 points back. Thank goodness. Nice. Uh, D12 oh. against me. Let's see if they're within range of you guys. Six. Ten. Uh, next round, they're going to be within range. Next round, uh, you can see Leaf deciding on whether he should grow faster or not. <laughs> it's really, for him, a, a question of mental stability at this point in time. Uh, it's a question of whether or not I give a damn or not. Yeah. Man Fang, uh, <clears throat> as expected, you're starting to spring leaks everywhere. Uh, but this chick just took something in the chest uh, from behind you, so you assume your loyal compatriots got your back, even though okay. Copius is just touching the outer ring of his potion bottle, thinking, Maybe I can stop I this just, all right now. I could just fly. Bomb on her. Bomb on her. <laughs> all right, what I'm going to do, since I have two attacks, I'm going to fire my breath weapon. I'm going to shoot acid at her, and it's five by 30 long. And I'm guessing it's five tall as well. So it should encompass her mostly. Uh, she's going to fail her save. Okay, so, so oh, yeah. Hits. You're going to get everything in this area. Okay, so now I just got to hit her with how many was it? This boat is going was... down. <laughs> well, the glass <laughs> windows are gone. That's for Looks sure. Like glass. <laughs> That's. Eight and a five, that's 13 damage with the acid. Okay. And then I'm going, after I've done that, I'm going to kick her in the chest, attempting to knock her over. Do you have an axe or did you leave No, I left it? that all so I could swim. Oh. He, he doesn't have any weapons or armor. That's not weapons good. You need I have the only, the only things I have is my shell and my helmet. That's all I have. Okay, Hong Kong, so like a, kick her in the face. Let's see yeah. do that. Uh, right. Uh, uh, All right, now that I <laughs> myself the good, the good news is she's sleeping and she doesn't have her armor on. Uh, bad news is that armor uh, is now covered in acid. <laughs> mm, I'm not wearing it. I'm, it's too small for me. So uh, unless she's fat. Um, <laughs> <I don't know>. <laughs> <laughs> and, and has a tail. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it was plus two studded leather. That shit's gone. <laughs> I don't care. It's leather. It oh, also, leather. the back wall of the vessel is also gone. <laughs> Good, I can kick her out of it. Uh, do I just do an unarmed strike? Uh, yeah, well, you can use dexterity as your modifier. Boom rush, throw her out the back wall. If you're kicking okay, her, it's a D6. <laughs> if I push her, do I get to use strength as my modifier again? Uh, we go strength against strength to grapple, yes. So uh, roll your D20, add your strength modifier. And Earth I wouldn't. Is. God, fine. I'll do it. Um, uh, 
You have a chance, Frankie. What do Don't I have screw to, this up. I have to roll die 20, right? Yep. And add your die strength 20, modifier. Add your strength modifier. If you're 16 or more, out the back she goes. I rolled a 16. How does that? Boy, uh, plus that, five. That's 21. Plus five. That's 21. Is that good? Leave. That you, you are stroking and you hear. I see the back of the ship come out. Uh, you see a body coming out of the back of the ship. The blank. What the ah! I, I just don't care anymore. Nope. <laughs> I don't care at all. I don't care at all. But I'll bet there's one jealous sailor somewhere on that ship right now. How far is it to the Amazons? That's what I want to know. <laughs> uh, yeah, you are beaching yourself as Robert and Levi, covered in rock debris, stagger towards you. Copious, uh, you were off to the side because Haggis pushed his way into Witch Boulder. Uh, you hear a very loud scream that gets fainter as she goes over the side. There was that time when, you know, <laughs> wagon uh, of ghouls. That was a mistake. Uh, what would you like to do? Well, uh, I'm probably going to just look around the edge to look in the room now since the door's open and, uh, and uh, Haggis has been shooting into it. I just want to see what's going on. Remember when Mace Windu went out? <laughs> That's kind of what it looks like. Uh, yeah. You see nobody in there. So as you scrunch down and look between... August and Man Fang's legs. Uh, a, you catch a glimpse of the drunk sailor to your left, but you don't see any female in there. I, and as I'm scanning the room, because now Copius is like, he's probably going to say, where'd she go to mm -hmm. Man Fang? Uh, but he's also scanning the room to see if there's anything that will be useful to keep those sailors uh, pinned in the trunk, steamer, you know, a trunk, more barrels, anything we can pile to keep that door locked. There'll be a large trunk, but it's probably secured. Okay. I'll cast, uh, when I get the next chance, I'll cast Detect Magic as well on the room. Uh, there is a small wooden cherry box uh, that glows blue for you. Uh, I'll do an investigation check on it and then slide it off uh, and hold on to it. Uh, Haggis, uh, you felt the swoosh of the sail the drunken sailor uh, last round. You saw her take flight. Uh, what do you want to do? And you take see flight. Copius crawl his way in and start looking for loot. <laughs> so she's like not in the room anymore. No, she's there gone. She, she's she's been dealt with by the man. Did a mace window out the back of the ship. So, like, um, did anything come off her? Like, maybe a pouch, sword, rapier, anything? She like was that? naked. She was naked. Yeah, she, she was naked in, in, in bed. No, and I know, her, I'm just saying. Did her she take rapier her rapier went, with her? Yeah, her rapier went out uh, the back window. All right, now I'm going to look over the back window and see if I see her. There's oh, yeah. a pool of uh, studded leather over here. Yeah. Well, no, that's bad leather. Like, yeah. she, so, she probably swims really well and has that rapier in her teeth ready to climb right. back up and Errol Flynn this. But if I see her, like, what's what's up with her? What's she doing right now? Treading water. Okay, so She's doing I'm, this. throw more acid at her. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> you think if I, like, jump off with my short sword, I could hit her? And oh, I, you know what? You do that. That seems like a great idea. I, I want would you have to do that. Advantage because and I've got an echo man thing on this one. <laughs> yeah, finish her off, buddy. You got this. He's hey. treading water. Like See, this is how not to play D D. <laughs> this is how to exactly <laughs> play D here. Okay, take. It would take too long to get the bow out and do all the bow stuff. Or I could know, there, there's probably a small writing desk if you want to hit her with a chair. You, you know, <laughs> throw her in chair. I'm, no, I'm just an entire at her. Yeah, but how epic is how, that? how big is it? Like how how big is this area which I can see her? Oh uh, well, genius there. Burnt out the entire <laughs> back of the ship with his acid breath. So, so I'm just saying, if I line open. up my big bow right, I could probably. Oh yeah, you could probably hit her. Enough room to make. Okay, then I'm going to shoot with my good bow, the the cool one. Okay, go ahead. The whole back wall's missing. Seventeen rooms, fifteen foot wide. 
Yeah, she, she takes one in the shoulder. That'll that'll brighten her day. Well, mine's my spray is five foot okay. wide, but as it goes on, it gets bigger. So. It comes. Yeah. How much yeah I, I always thought a picture window would look nice at the back of the ship, anyways. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's just why it's like it's a corner office. It's right. the corner office. Especially, corner office. especially when yeah. you're when you're going southwest and one of them nor'easters comes in. Let's see. How much damage, Haggis? Twelve, but is there a bonus or something? You okay, fourteen. For a bonus. Is that plus two longbow or quick draw or whatever? Uh, Haggis, I am going to hit you at advantage. Wait, you're in the water now? Did you actually jump? Good thing. No, I'm the drunken sailor who can't oh, roll okay. above a 10. Uh, again, you hear a whoosh behind you, and man, Fang, you see a drunken sailor pile his way in, pinching your butt as he goes, and then tries <laughs> to crack Haggis upside the head and fails miserably. <laughs> Oh uh, man. man thing. Man thing. What do you do with the drunken sailor? You throw him off. Robert. Wait, no. First I hit him, then I throw him off. There. Robert, the attacks. Robert and Levi, uh, you can see Leaf hailing you. Hey guys. Hey guys, <laughs> grab gra grab uh, Manfang's gear and throw it in. I'll see what I can find. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a Just your cash <laughs> <laughs> let me throw this to you hey, did you ever see the uh, it's always sunny in Philadelphia I throw like a man episode Danny no, no, uh, didn't see that one they bought a boat and uh, he's got the, the key but it's not on a floaty and uh, Charlie goes <sighs> Hey, throw me the keys. And he just winds up and throws it. It goes right into the page. I was like, what the hell are you doing? He goes, I'm a man. I throw like a man. Yeah. That was a pretty okay. good show. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, Dexterity, yes. Levi, and Robert to get into the boat. Yeah. Grabbing whatever man thing <clears throat> shit I can find. Yeah. Okay. There's only a chest plate, a leg plate, and then... My art, my weapons. So I heard chest plate. <laughs> I have a plate. This is awesome. Okay, so I'm I'm to leave the uh, longbow and the crossbow. No, 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 no. I said weapon. my weapon. Uh, uh, leave the uh, chain mail because he said chest plate. Oh, I do have chain the, mail. Uh, Here, well, just bring everything. Bring, bring, bring everything. Problems. You want to cut the bowstrings on the missile weapons because mm -hmm. that that won't add to the buoyancy at all. That's right. So I'll, I, I I have your inventory up here. I'll just go through and let Frank know what I forgot. <laughs> all of it. <laughs> I'm going to get one of those scrolling Oscar dead people lists. <laughs> Shit. Uh, and law. In memory, uh, in memory yeah. of great. Let me, let me interject for a minute. I have a bag of holding. I could have put all of, all of Manfang shit in my bag and yeah, I and know. I'm over with it. You, you oh, should well, have. <laughs> if I know you had that, I might have put my stuff uh, in there and swam across. Yeah. yeah well. Listen, I was suggesting that in the beginning, but no one listens to Manfang. No uh, there's, a, to me. there's a storage fee that goes along with using his bag of holding note, man thing. Uh, do I have to pay you for that? Then have, you, have, 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 you, have you met no, you pay me for that. Bezos lately? <laughs> no okay. restroom breaks. You don't okay. get paid then. Robert and Levi, give me your dex rolls. See if you can get in the boat without tipping it over. And Deny really your emotions really like fall. I, the lizard man, Jeff Bezos. I, I rolled an 11. Roll your dex. Aw, oh, dexterity. <laughs> Kind you of have a plus you. four. Hopefully you don't screw this up. There you <clears> go. I got a 17. 17. Let me say that. Uh, Robert getting in the boat was a little a iffy. Uh, Leaf, you now have two passengers. You can head back out. To All right, ship. we'll head back to the ship. Two passengers, two more rowers. <laughs> That's right. Yep. Uh, no, no, two rowers. He's done <laughs> the heavy lifting already. I've already uh, done my share. Okay, Row man, boys. Thing, you got a... You got a drunken sailor who just pinched you on the butt trying to crack haggis upside the head. Can I? Okay, so I have two actions. So I'm going to try, I'm going to hit him in the head with my fist. 
and then I'm going to kick him. Then I'm going to also throw him off. Bring some acid on him. Yeah, no, I I've already, already done that once. That. Yeah. So. Oh. I can't do it again. I would if I could, but I can't. So well. I was kidding because I believe Haggis is on the other side of it. I would have still. that ever stopped him? I'm yeah. sure you weren't kidding. Um, I, was just, uh, I, I don't think he was kidding. He oh, wasn't kidding. Friend? I wasn't yeah. kidding. No, I would have done it. Um, arm strike. That 16. Does he have anything? Is, I rolled a 16, not with anything. Is that good enough? Yeah, he's, he's an AC 10. All right, cool. So I hit him with the punch. The first one, and then that's just plus six with a damage. Is that just six regular with damage, not plus anything? Don't have to roll strength, okay? And that's just die 12. Um, I rolled an 11. He's unconscious. All right, now I'm going to throw him off the boat, which is grapple, which is this and then modifiers strength, strength that's fifth, that's 16 again. At 16 again. Yeah, he's a uh, wet sack of shit right now. He should be easy yeah. to throw off. And then I just do strength with die 12. You can just throw him over. All right, then I've thrown him over. Now, D20, but hang on a second. Oh, he lands on her. Does, does he? Does he? Go ahead and straight up D20. I know the number that you need. Four. <laughs> You miss her by about that much because I rolled a five. Oh, I, I, will say, I will say the foot kicks her in the face and blows yes, her nose. Yes, yes, yes. But it yes, is not yes. a direct hit. It's one off of a direct hit. Uh, if I direct hit, would she get knocked out again or as well? Oh, yeah, she would have sank. Oh, it's too close. Uh, copious. Uh, you have the cherry box. You've stowed the cherry box. What do you want to do? I just watched uh, Man Thing throw the drunken sailor off. Yep. And you hear, oh no, they just threw somebody else off. So does that is does that sound like it's coming from the water or does it sound like it's coming from the rear cabin? Crew. So I'm going to look at Haggis and Man Thing and say, we need to put stuff in front of that door before those sailors break out. And get ready to, to deal with those sailors in case they get out before <laughs> Leaf is back. Got it. You do that. Prisoners of, <laughs> prisoners of war. That's a good idea. How about we don't? <laughs> you know what? I'm going to go up on the forecast. I'm going to stand on top of the foxhole and I'm going to sit there with the, the flying potion. I'm going to have it. I'm going to be fighting not to drink it and get off this ship. All right. <laughs> I'm going to go put a barrel. Wait, let me make a, I'm going to make a wheel check. Uh, I made my wheel check. You, you aren't going to do it yet. You still have your coin. I still have it. Uh, <laughs> so, Haggis, uh, Manfang's going to go get a barrel. What do you want to do? So one barrel. That's Where's it. this one captain barrel. right now? She had a whole turn to move. Where, where is she right now? Oh, you can't see her, so she must be tucked up against the back end of the ship. Hmm. She's okay. climbing up with two daggers. Go in after. Go in after. daggers. One no. rapier that does two die eight plus six. <laughs> and gets three attacks. <laughs> I dealt with her pretty fast, though. One spit. <laughs> oh, you no, know you want gone. that rapier. Yeah. You also know we're rolling over, and if Robert sees her, he's throwing a fireball. Yeah, so don't right have ball. Ball. <laughs> So um, I'm going to... Um, I believe go... that's called suggestion. You said there were stairs that led up, right? To the rear deck, yes. Yeah, okay, then I'm going to go up the stairs and look over the bow. Oh, yeah, it, it hangs over, so you, you definitely oh. don't see her now. Hmm. But you see the boat coming. Okay, then, oh, in that case, then... And, um, and you hear Leaf. Stroke. 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 <laughs> I'm going to yell to Leaf that me, Man Fang, and Copious are on board and uh, stuff's happening. Yeah, oh, you also don't see any of Man Fang's shit, by the way. Did he mess... Did, did, it's all in the bag of holding. <laughs> so, I don't, don't see it, so I'm going to start... Bag of start yelling. Hey, where's my stuff? 
Uh, All right, I can't because it's not a bag of holding. You know that, right? Lee, do you want to go around the rear of the ship or around the the front of the ship? Ah, uh, well, the way we're coming, I'm just coming up to the side at the, to the low point. We're just picking them up. Well, th- we'll that, go around the- that. That makes another question. It I- it was settled on the port side, so if you want to go, okay. if you want to go right up to the starboard side and have them get off onto the ship, that's fine. There's plenty of rope up here. I um, want to go around and see that hole. So the rear. We'll hit the go around the stern. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of debris, including one dead body of a sailor uh, who looks like he had a love fest for Man Fang. You do not see the captain, nor did you know that the captain was there. Uh, but there's no. a lot of debris, uh, and you can see Man Fang yelling something, something, something. Where's my shit? Uh, and you go around the corner, uh, and one third of the rear section has been blown out. I'm going to look at that and think, that freaking copious, what the hell did he do? It's definitely uh, the gnome's fault. <laughs> oh, jeez. Him and his magic. Uh, but you now you don't see anybody but Haggis, who's up on the rear castle, looking over, hey, where'd she go? <laughs> where'd who go? Captain, uh, female, uh, maybe naked, has a sword that is mine. A naked female with your sword? What Robert, are you talking about? Robert, you hear naked female. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on this case. <laughs> Robert, Detective Robert, is on the case. I don't FBI, see anybody. Female body. Inspector. <laughs> <laughs> female body inspector. FBI. So we don't see anybody around there? We'll go around, head around to the front. You don't see anybody. Up, yell up at uh, Haggis. I don't see anybody out here. She Copious, must have swam away. You now realize that they aren't coming to save you. <laughs> <laughs> He's wanting you to drink that potion. Oh, damn. I just, this is the highest rolls I've had the whole game. Uh, okay. So. The noise from the crew cabin uh, has lessened extensively. They are no longer beating on the door. You you don't know what to make of that. Uh, So so that noise has stopped. There's no noise from below deck. The captain's quarter is a mess. Uh, It's still anchored, so you aren't going anywhere. Uh, And Leaf is on the scenic tour. Uh, as he tells Robert and Levi to row faster. So I am open to suggestions on what any of you do. Leaf, the ropes you used are still over the side. Go ahead. We'll we'll row up the ropes in where we can load everybody up. Manfang, pull up the anchor. (laughs) Look at that. We're taking the boat is what he's saying. I'll do that, and then I'll pull up the anchor, and then I'll run to the back of the ship to get at the wheel. I'm, I'm keeping my my spidey senses tuned to that captain because she's coming back on board. Like, so she's probably it's fine. We'll swash women around like in the water. So I have Manfang at the forward section pulling up the anchor, Haggis on the rear deck where the steering column is, Leaf, Robert, and Levi making the big circle and finding the ropes. Uh, Leaf, give me an investigation check real quick, please. Seventeen. On the rear, uh, the name was obliterated, so you aren't sure what it was. On the front of the ship, there is a placard that reads Lady Jane. So this vessel is called the Lady Jane. Uh, You get to the boat. Sango? Uh, Robert and Levi, time for your survival checks. I'm Mr. Candy. Mr. Candy. I would like to shake your hand. 17. What can you have? Say a And? Plus two. Ten. You're starting to get the boat up there. 
uh, and the boat starts to drift. Uh, Copious, you're looking around. Manfang has secured it. Uh, you've got a pilot, God help us, up on the rear deck, and you hear talking in the crew quarters, but they've stopped beating on the door. So, can is Copious? Is there a way for him to look through the porthole? Sure, you can jump up on one of the barrels and look in there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand on one of the barrels and, and look through the porthole. <laughs> and see what I. Hola, como esta? <laughs> <laughs> you want to see inside the, the crew quarters. They are huddled together discussing something. Can I fire two Eldritch Blasts through the window at the nearest one? Sure. <laughs> Go Just ahead. to rile them up a bit, keep them moving. Active. And again, they're in their underwear or naked. So I sure. like putting firecrackers in an ant's nest or something. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. burning them alive. I fired two blasts at two different people. One hit, one, I assume, well... Flew out the it's back window on this side. 12 and a 23. Yeah, both hit. There right. is he 10. <laughs> so the first one took uh, nine points of damage. Yeah, he's dead. And the second one took 12 points of damage. Yeah, he's dead too. There are now four seamen left, and they're like, fuck it, we surrender. What did they say? We surrender. <laughs> That's what I was going for. So I, I, Copus is going to talk to him. Uh, he's going to say, it seems like, are you gentlemen going to be reasonable at this point? If that means sparing our lives. So sure. Captain's we, gone. We saw her. So I just need sailors. Good pay, good benefits. We're your men. <laughs> All right, sit tight. Like yeah. we have anything else to do. <laughs> nope. You didn't even ask if any of them were carpenters. Don't care. I just need the ship to get me back to shore. Robert, can't you mend it? Can you mend something this big? Nope. I don't know. That's a GM question of how much no. I'm mending. Can, can we like put a board, like when you fill in paint, like Microsoft Paint, can we put like a line and then you can fill it in and that half only? I got to yeah, have parts to mend like, it can together. Yeah, okay, I, can, okay. I think you should find a tarp. <laughs> Just and a, a remember, blue tarp. You pretty much melted the back of the boat. A little piece of sail. Uh, whatever. Are Robert and uh, uh, Levi on the ship yet? They are about halfway up. Uh, Haggis, Captain Haggis, uh, the ship is now <laughs> drifting, and you are at the steering wheel, and it's just kind of spinning around. The wheel? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Stop it. You're, that's what I was going to do. I'm going to. Put my hands on the wheel, like so, and then... Give me a yeah. D4. One. D4? If you roll below, it oh, spins yes. you in a circle. <laughs> Three. Uh, the tide is now pushing the ship back towards the rocks. Uh. <laughs> okay. The uh, sail is down. Mm. So you are just free floating, but you're free floating with the tide going in towards the rocks. So there's like a, a breeze coming in? No, it's just the ocean current. Uh, Copious, you start hearing beating on the door. Hey, we're headed to the rocks. <laughs> that's what I, that's what I wanted a sense of urgency to build for the crew. So Manfang, help me move these barrels out. All right, I'm going to move the barrels very fast, as in I'm going to throw them, and whoever's in the area will get hit by a barrel, which okay. means I'm aiming kind of towards Copious. Uh, okay, Donkey Kong. Uh, <laughs> barrels are... Come on, Mario, jump over them. Bar barrels are removed. <clears throat> There's a spike in the door still, man thing. No, no, I no, done. Then I'll pull it out. Give me a strength check. All right, I'm on. I, I, I pull like a man. With what? Just a die 20? Die 20 plus strength bonus. That is a 19. Ooh. Pulls Ripper it out man. like a champ. At this point in time, Robert and Levi like have, have secured the uh, ship, or the, secured the rowboat. Leaf the Druid is uh, now calling himself Captain Leaf. 
So now you're going to have hey, a politi political problem. Uh, the door opens up and the four sailors come out and they go, hey, uh, we're going towards the rocks. I'm going to yell at them tell them to get some sail up. Looks at copious. Do we I'm not the captain. Way? I'm looking at Leaf and Agus. Wait, they're looking at me? They're looking at you and Leaf. Well, what do you we, want them to do? Leaf Are they now you're, you're <clears> captain or captain? So they're like, okay. Uh, they go over uh, and start cranking it up. The wind catches the sails. You guys stop going backwards and start going forward. Towards the rocks just, or away from rocks? Away from the rocks. Do you want to spin the spinning wheel there, Haggis, and throw everybody overboard? I'm going to keep her steady. And then is there like a, a seaman nearby? I can, or a crew? A seaman? They're all down on the deck. <laughs> um, oh, oh, oh. Can, can I like say one of them take the wheel? They look Hold at this in They're not captain. At, you are. At, at Steer the ship. And they, they, they don't know who they're taking orders from. Fine. They don't want to die. Fine. Never mind. Never mind. We're going that way, rocks that way. I want to look behind over the edge again. I want to see back where we just were. Sure. Uh, debris floating in there. No woman. No, she he still, he still wants that damn sword, man. No, no she must have gotten in the boat. Copious, take the wheel. I'm going to head down to the cruise quarters. <laughs> oh, yeah, that works well. Fine. Copious will take woo, the wheel. Woo, 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 Copious woo, can't woo. even see over the side of the damn boat. I can take the hey, wheel. I'll, I can. I'll hold you. I'll hold you. I'll hold you so you can there you steer. Go. It, I don't know Blaster, there you go. Master. Man, it man thing got a mini me. Yeah. <laughs> this is my mini me. No, so he's like, don't let go, Rose. Don't let go. No, that was the sailor man thing. Yeah, that was the sailor. <laughs> yeah. That was what he wanted to do to me. He wanted, <laughs> he wanted me to be yeah. one of his French girls, and I didn't. I didn't want that. I My God, is it, is it still the middle of the night here? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's like it, half an hour has gone by. Just head up the coast. <coughs> Where's the coast? Ask the, Well, ask one of the sailors if Over there. where is the nearest uh, place to put in to shore is. Yep. Uh, well, there's this village in a cove. Raglan. <laughs> Raglan is probably the closest. I guess. No. Uh, That's where we just left. <laughs> but are, are there any little villages between here and there? Yeah, there's uh, there's one to the north. It's in a small protected cove. Uh, Perfect. Yeah, we haven't been there in a while. Yeah. Let's aim well, there. Don't waste your time going there now. Yeah, that's that's fair enough. We can go that way. We're, we're fine with that. Uh, the ship's going to be pretty big. It won't be able to get into the harbor, so we'll have to use the, the rowboat. That's Just saying. Me. Okay. Any guesses as to where they're going to take you? Yeah, we know exactly where they're going to take us. Yep, fair enough. Uh, got some property out there. This is the end of day nine, and they're taking us farther away from where we where we need to go. Like, yeah, Copious wants to pull out the map of the countryside. Yeah, we better off going back to Raglan and getting off and it, getting on the road. Well. Well, let, let's see. Let's remember, all our mounts are on a ledge inside that cavern. Right. So we need we need to get out uh, somewhere, be able to put in on the longboat so we can go up for the cavern. I mean, we don't need the ship. We just need to get back to shore. What we needed to do was probably go right back up through the damn cave where we were at to start with. Uh, I see you added the broken ship in the airspray time. Yeah. You're right there. So you know what? No, 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 no. You're right there. See, we uh, need to. Cavern's right over there. So I, the question, can we just take the rowboat and leave the ship in the hands of whoever, one of these sailors and say, the I'll, wait, I'll stay. The rowboat. I'll stay because I don't have any mounts. Isn't that, it technically our rowboat? That would be great. They love that idea. <laughs> We just need a place that will get us up to the top of the cliff, right? Because this is all. Yeah, that's all we need is a, a trail up to the top. Do they know of any? No. But well, I'm pretty sure that you guys are smart enough to find it. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. 
let's just let's just take the take the longboat then and get out and we'll just head up towards Raglan. Or let's take the ship back towards Raglan. And if we see one from the ship, we'll take the longboat. Raglan, longboat, light reach. I think Whoop. light reach is out. It's really just comes yeah. down to whether it's Raglan or whether it's the I, I only wanted the ship to move from its current position because I think that captain's in I wanted to move away from that captain who's going to haunt Copius's nightmares for weeks to come. The the crew will tell you they were a day out of Raglan. All right. So let's if you just, want to go to Raglan, let's take let's just day. take the long boat and go. Say so we'll yeah, what are arguing about? Let's just we'll, go. We'll take the longboat. At least keeps us from drowning along the shore. Yep. Okay, so you're going to take it where you guys were at? We're going to get, yeah, we're going to get provisions. We're going to load it up. We're going to go. So back to the sea cave and around the edge of the sea cave to see if there's a place where we can go ashore and get up to the top of the, the hill. Going back yeah. towards the game. Sure, that'll work, and we will take that up next Sunday when you uh, give the good news to Alex that there is a silver merman down and, and he has a permanent limp. <laughs> Getting gouged. Uh, so we will close it there. Uh, Haggis, what'd you think? I had a lot of fun. I'm going to find that captain. Oh, I bet you will find that captain. <laughs> Copious, what'd you think? Um, I will never forget, uh, once again, <clears throat> Man Fang being the player of the hour with acid spit. Yep. Yeah. Well, oh, and the negotiator of the hour too. You remember he had that one, uh, sailor eating out of his hands, so to speak. He did. Uh, we will call him Pokey. Pokey, what do you think? I like the name Pokey. Uh, I, <laughs> <laughs> I thought I did great. My MVP award shall be coming soon. I hope in the mail, a check in the mail. Well, um, if, if it makes you feel better, you probably have a star scar on your yeah. uh, so, uh, Frank, boots. Frank Senior, what'd you think? Uh, that was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I have to give credit to Haggis and Manfang for how well they played the game today. They didn't Up play to their, to their character's uh, sheet. Uh, right, right to the right to the hilt, man, so Levi, to speak. Levi, what'd you think? I thought it was good. Very proud of my rolls when I hit the slag. Uh, you should be very proud of your father's roll, but nearly caving it in on your head. I thought that yeah, was a nice touch. This is all his fault that I got hurt. That's what I'm here for. That's right. When Frank, what'd you it? think? I liked it. I got to throw a spell I haven't been able to throw yet. Wow. Yeah, and it only caused a lot of damage. <laughs> it did for everyone. We will start next time off with a survival roll <clears throat> to see if you guys find a way up to the top of the rift. If and they find unstable on the ship. Ho hopefully, you can actually travel along there and get to your mounts. But we will figure that out next week. Uh, folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc. from our Goot campaign. Thanks for joining us. Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Discord, uh, buy our crap, uh, cool dice, uh, oddfishgames.com for adventure sense, because I know they got a couple of ship-based smells that would work here. Uh, catch us Tuesday. It's the Socium Project Part 2. Uh, our other four DMs are going to go ahead and give their views on the timeline and major issues. So, folks, for our, all of us here at Murder Hobo Week, thanks for joining us. We will chat with you later. Kiss and wave, boys and girls. Goodbye. <laughs>